Yo, DJ, pull that up. Hello, hello, it's the Yak, it's the Yak, Friday Yak, damn near a fucking full house in here, and just running back some of the good vibes of Shohei Otani Day, we do need to be out of here at 140 today, <laughs> we need to, so we need to make this shit quick, but uh, just a, an, another uh, another beautiful day to Yak with the fellows, was anybody hung over uh, today? Uh, so it's not 140 because they have to set up, so we have to be out of here at 105. Oh, All right, get it in quick then. They're One bringing more in the cast of Full House <laughs> to connect with this new Gen Z audience. Um, I was I was hung over though. I'll I was honest. too. I tried to go out with these guys afterwards. Had really? one I wasn't drink. hung over at all. Oh, insane tummy ache. You're an alcoholic. Yeah, I that was yesterday. Lose of diarrhea, like one hour after the act. But I don't want to blame that on what we. Yeah, did. that no, could have can't. been that could have been anything. Uh, Donnie texted yeah. me about it if I was feeling sick from it, like uh, liquid shit wise, and no, I wasn't. But I can't picture a Japanese man having diarrhea. Mm. Yeah, not with their beautiful toilets. No, you wouldn't want to disrespect no. that technology. No. They're too respectful to have diarrhea. That their genius their toilets are very easy to clog because they're not made for like American-sized poops. <laughs> So I think I was clogging like the toilet one every four shits. I like that we are claiming big shits. When I moved into my, my apartment, I clogged the toilet the first time I shit in it. You have a Japanese toilet. You must. It, it, my toilet, it like doesn't flush. It goes. You know how like most toilets, they go like the the hole goes like in and that way. Yeah. Mine goes around, so the shit has to go like it has to like loop around. Wait, hold that Very thought. I need to, to talk about it. Roback real quick, yeah. but I want you to put a pin in it, and I want to get back to right in that section of the sentence. <laughs> but Roback, summer's in full swing, and you want to be using Roback.com to get great, fantastic deals on Roback clothing, collared shirts, oh yeah, hats, if you want to wear a lid from Roback, they have that for you. Q-zips, polos, hoodies, joggers. All of that stuff. If you're an active person or are cosplaying as one, as I often do, Roback is the gear for you. It's R H O B A C K dot com. Use code YAK, 20% off your first purchase through the end of this week. Get it in today. What were you saying about the shit, the way that the shit goes through your plumbing? Is that just a snap in half? Yeah, pretty much. You ever hear it? No, it's just it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't like flow. timber <laughs> like a redwood flow like a normal toilet. You break it you ever break the log before it, just to make it easier? No, I just flush it a bunch. Well, you oh, had, you, you you just multiplied. acted like you had a tool for that, Francis. What was the <laughs> Well, one time in a hotel, I had to use a tissue box to break up the logs, no. and sort of soup it up a little and then send it on its yeah. way. Hotel toilets are usually pretty forceful. Too. I know. Well, well this was in Attatash, New Hampshire, uh, and it was a mountain hotel, and they didn't uh, they didn't have the strength. Country the, plumbing. Everything's so historic in the Northeast that it's like they they weren't prepared for human beings to be six foot tall taking ten pounds of barbecue shits. No, no, they they weren't. People were tinier back then. Yeah, they always have that uh, disclaimer next to the toilet: please no feminine products. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to flush your tampons and maxi pads yeah. down the toilet, you dirty girls. The fact that your turds were more dense than a blood-ridden maxi pad is also a little bit disturbing. I'd, I'd take pride in that. Ron, is your headphones playing music? No. After uh, Hairball, Nick and I had yeah. a pop, I went and met a friend for a dinner in a new place that I'd never heard of in New York City called Dime Square. Have you guys ever heard of this? But uh, where was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it on um, the the accounts, the meme accounts. I'm Square. Meme accounts. It's just a new neighborhood of New York that young people decided they wanted to make cool. Right. It Why was, is it called Dime Square? Are they attractive? It's a play on Times Square. Well, I no think. fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, How? There's more. I think the idea is that this place is so cheap. I'm Square. Why does that sound so familiar? <laughs> <laughs> is it near Times Square? No. I think it's a place for people to like be caught reading like cool books. Oh. And like playing a ukulele. Is that right? Work. 
Dime there's novels. A, there's is an that account why it's called? called Nolita Dirtbag, and they always post shit that I don't understand, but it seems really fun. Oh, it's by Chinatown. Yeah, yeah it's Chinatown meets oh, the East Side through, through here, right off the Manhattan Bridge, and uh, it's just people. There's no. There's the streets are blocked off, and there's whole blocks and streets. There's skateboarders and shit. More like restaurant eaters, people eating really? in outdoor, and the, the the tables for the restaurants spill all the way out, and you don't even know where one restaurant ends and where one begins. But to, I I rode a city bike down there, and do you know how city bike docks have that A and B slot? One's uh, farther in, and the other ones are a little bit farther out. And you have to wedge between. That's right, and if the ones that are out are filled, you can't park a bike on the one that are ones that are in. You have to like jam it like a Neanderthal. I don't think you can get it. Possible? I don't think you can get it. Damn. I tried, and uh, I couldn't get it, and it was the only slot open. And I realized that there were four people around me sitting on city bikes. So I went up to each one of them individually and asked if they were taking the bikes out and they said no no and they were all chinese people because we were in chinatown and i realized that all four of them were pedaling slowly backwards on the parked bicycles to do exercises oh Oh, yeah it was like tai chi it was like that time we were in beijing and we went to the the muscle beach of china is that hard to do no there's no Uh, resistance what are you talking about they're all wearing chinos and dress shirts while they're doing it They're, they're Pedaling a stationary, like not even a, a real bike. Yeah, that's not, no resistance. They're just that's moving. not hard. No, it's not hard. Just stay just, active. It's a little yeah. is that, is that it's harder than active. walking? They're probably older Chinese. And that's right. Yes, you, yeah. and you were fifties and sixties, and they were they were just having a pleasant social thing. This was like a social thing, where they were sitting on the bikes, just parked in the city bike dock, and <laughs> moving their legs backwards and talking and laughing. And they didn't speak a word of English. And obviously, I don't speak any Chinese. But uh, they realized what I was up to, what I was looking for. And this guy who was flirting with two of the women that were on the bikes, but he himself was not on the bike, said in Chinese, basically, I'll, I'll sort this out for you. And he took his city bike app, opened it up on his phone, pulled out one of the B-slot bikes so that I could park my bike and then re-parked the bike. And we all were so happy with each other for solving this. Holy shit. With no, no common language. What a good Then man. Francis bowed to them. <laughs> oh, no. That's the Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh, Otani Day. They must have not bow to a Chinese person. No, it was, uh, but it was a very cool you, moment. Uh, you slurp that. to them. You slurp your noodles in front of them. That's Japanese yes. as well. Is it? Yes. And that you should never clear your plate. You always want to leave some leftovers because they'll be offended if you clear your plate. They're like, we didn't serve him enough food. He's leaving hungry. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Maybe they could cook some more fucking food then. Yeah, but then they'll just <laughs> keep on feeding you and feeding you. So always leave a little on. We left plenty of food for uh, Hu Aiyi. Hu Aiyi, yes. Did not eat any of the salad she made. Um, you had told me specifically, don't eat lettuce bought at a wet market. Yeah, just don't eat cold vegetables in China in general. Yeah, they have to wash them with water. Yeah, there's a good chance you might get E. coli. Yeah, yeah, most of their veggies are cooked. It's hard to find like a a cold salad. Interesting. We went to a wet market uh, to buy the ingredients for a dinner, mm-hmm. and that's exactly the type of place where COVID started. They say yeah. some people say. What what types of beasts did you see hanging? Lots of <laughs> fish, and Do- and and Donnie was trying to pick them out of the tub <laughs> with his bare hands. They got mad at him for it. It's the first time I ever saw yeah. anyone in China get mad at you. That's like, yeah, I had a pet goose and a pet duck in China, which I just bought at the <laughs> wet market. And at one point I had them when bird flu was going around. Yeah, so were- they announced in Shanghai, they're like, we need to go around and murder every duck in wet markets like around the country. And you I, had an and Anne Frank I, duck I, in yes, your attic? Yeah, I, had, <laughs> I fucking Anne Frank the duck. It was just <laughs> like living in my closet. They're horrible pets, though. Damn, the Chinese police like kicking in your door, yeah. <laughs> going room to room <laughs> as your little ducks beneath the floorboards. Donnie has to tape the beak shut. Don't <laughs> quack. <laughs> Don't rape anyone down there. Oh, Sorry, because ducks yeah. do that. Ducks do that. Oh, I, I, I was thinking, did Anne Frank? Almost exclusively. No, it's a duck ducks thing, not Anne ducks. Frank thing. Ducks. You shouldn't have said that, I guess. Yeah. yeah fuck me. It was bio- it's a duck. It's an animal thing. Yeah, it's ducks and dolphins mostly. Forgot the directive though. Um, damn, Shohei Otani did hit a home run last night though. 
I know. Yeah. Go. He got a cramp, and then he hit his 40th home run of the season, of which is kind of serendipitous. Unless we forced that. Unless we created that. It wasn't happening without us. Yeah, I Did felt personal pride. followers he got? I, like I've, I discovered him. I don't think how he many? Went, I don't think he went up a digit, but probably in the hundreds. The graphic looked fucking sick. Yeah. We look good as Japanese guys. Oh, my oh God. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Amazing. I think I was thinking of, of going Japanese because of that. Yeah. I just need to find a surgeon that will put my face on a Japanese skull. Look at all of us. Oh, uh, no. I, I look kind of look like mints. <laughs> no, you look good. Oh, you look good. AB would oh, hands down be the, the easiest person to turn into a Japanese. Thank you, Don. I'll, Thank you very much. Why? What, what, we what we all have what? said that at one I point. I appreciate time. that. What are you seeing there, Donnie? What are you seeing? I just think like you could tell people now I'm a quarter Japanese and no one would be shocked. Hey, I would. Thank you. I'd be yeah. floored. <laughs> I would be <laughs> What about him Japanese looking? He's got slight hints of Japanese. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um his <laughs> Stature is. I appreciate it, Donnie. Darkish hair. Thank you. Yeah. He's yes. fit. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I can see the hair. Thousand thank yous. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think wow. he, you think he could fool a stranger? If he was wearing sunglasses, yes, I think. If and then you would have to shave. If you were clean shaven and wearing shades, maybe put on a slight accent. I think you could just. <laughs> <laughs> if we got canceled you could yesterday, go we, we would have undercover had to say, as a Japanese. We would have had to Photoshop a twenty three and me account to say that you're a quarter yeah. Japanese. Mm. Oh, I think we did. We did well. We didn't cross any lines. Oh, it was overall a net. I was crossing spent. lines by myself last night. I was just doing the voice the whole night. <laughs> oh yeah, just to myself. How how did it go? Yeah, I'm not gonna do it here. Obviously not. not. Yeah, maybe next the year. Death sentence. Are we doing it? What what do you do? When are we doing it next year? When he gets to 39 home runs or? or wait, fuck. Damn it. What? I could talk about That's Japanese culture for Chicago. weeks. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Not get bored. So Shohei's birthday is July 5th. So we could do it right before, right after the July 4th break. Oh, a birthday party. I feel like having it in August is gives you a little something. Oh, yeah. This to do was Drake when... yesterday. Well, that's fair. Oh, a Maybach. Those are nice. Look at, the, look at that, though. No way. Yeah. He was observing? I think so. He what? knew. Observing he what? Running Otani jersey. Oh shit. Oh. Why is he scared of the six? Is he in <laughs> Toronto right now? T Town. I think they're talking about T-time. the women. I was gonna say, is one of those girls a six and you oh. didn't want to talk to her? They look like they might be six years old. <laughs> oh come. Security guard behind him also wearing Roback, so obviously a big yak contingent. Wow. Look what a us. surprise. That's me. our brand. See that? I, no! I, I need to nod at him. I Give need to find salute. him and nod. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Drake seems very him. online. I wonder if he has ever listened to an episode of The Yak. Zero percent chance. Oh, no. It wouldn't surprise me. Zero? Zero. He's listened to the Pat Bev pod. Big difference. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a culture pod, and this is what are we? <laughs> comedy. <laughs> yes. Um, I can't believe hunting, style. hunting. Well, yeah, what is our I pod? can't believe I'm not culture. That's literally Oh, my God, all. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no. I think there's a big reason for that, Nani. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, I don't think it's a big well, reason. Well, I filmed a video with Za. True. Yeah. That's Za, just, I mean, it's pretty cultural. Damn, Donnie dropped his first culture video with Za. <laughs> 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 if we get that 23 and me back we could maybe be i don't know i guess no, japanese like, wouldn't be culture <laughs> not, the eyes of, not, not in the eyes of the baseball. stool no. <laughs> yeah japanese is sports back again is soccer football even like ernie ells as a south african golfer would not fall into culture i don't think no He'd fall into golf sad to say Who, who's in culture like a wild guess. It's macrodosing and million dollars. And yeah, Pat I, I, And Pat Beth. I figured that. I didn't know that macrodosing would be. Well, think of one of the co-hosts. <laughs> His name may be. Oh, the other one. Name yeah. for my oh, race. the other one. Um, no, not her. Yes, him. Name for me. Yeah. <laughs> that should be your name. I actually made a joke to him, and he didn't like it. I said, what would you have called me if I'd grown up an orphan and then found a home? Oh, and okay, yeah. And he said, what? And I said, an Aryan foster. And he didn't like it. <laughs> and he did not like that. No, nah, he wouldn't like that. No. I like him. We get along. He's great. He f- does not fuck with you. 
Oh, yeah, he's always told. telling Nick He's that. made that very clear. He knows not <laughs> to fuck with me. He, he knows. very clear. He knows not to fuck with me. Damn. I think he just doesn't like you. <laughs> no, there's nothing you could do about it. It's personal. It's about your personality. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I have enough. He said it wasn't even like it wasn't even like he friends. was rubbed the wrong way. It was just like he straight up just doesn't like you. <laughs> I was like, you should meet my friend Francis. He was like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I think it started when I made the Arian Foster joke. No, he told me it was way before that. <laughs> <laughs> he said I it was before you were even hired back. Yeah. Already with, you were on his radar. <laughs> you already at, you're at your number of 150 anyway, Francis. What's that number? Uh, yeah, how many close friends you can have or like su- support in a relationship? Dunbar number. You can only have like a certain number of people in your life. You have enough people in your life. Francis, how, how often would you say you have encounters with strangers, not staff, strangers? What Ooh. is happening right now? I feel like you approach a lot. You're always in getting yourself into encounters, I whereas I am the opposite. Yeah. I have a lot of encounters. Like that encounter at the city bike station yesterday. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Those I haven't had a good encounter in a while. Like, when I was with you, encounter? you would you would constantly stop dog walkers and ask about the breed and whatnot. <laughs> Is this something you do for a certain reason, or is this you? He's you're not just scared. Curi- you're He's curious. not scared of people. I like meeting people. I like uh, hearing people's story. Right, that's and good. I, I like experiencing uh, different things and different people. That's one the of the great things about New York, right. too. There's just so many fucking people to interact mm-hmm. with. Yeah, you're not going to interact with them again. A lot of people don't, though. They just yeah. stay in their own little bubble here. People are scared. Go to the same one bar every weekend, hang out with the same that's six ideal. people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Donnie, that's do what you, I do. I feel like you do that a decent amount. You'll just talk to a fucking stranger. I like to go to a lot of different places in New York. I guess yeah. I, I don't always talk to a lot of people there. You just check it out? Yeah, I like to, you know, check out new neighborhoods, go for a stroll. Um, but, yeah, when was the last time I just, like, met someone new? <laughs> Yeah, I'll yuck one. it up at a, like a bar if it's a, like a sitting at a bar and I'm sitting next to somebody. I'll say, talk about the game or something. When's the last time you asked a dude for his number? Ooh, <sighs> that's gotten weird now. I had a dude ask me for my number at a pool hall. He liked how you were shooting. It? No. Shooting What'd you say? Shit. How'd you get out of it? Maybe I did. I don't remember. He was oh, just if like, you ask me, I'll give it. He was like, yeah, I think I, pr- I probably did. He was just like, do you want to play pool sometime? It was just a random dude. We were just having a conversation at the bar. It was at, uh, what's it called? The Society. Place that we always go. Society? Oh. oh. Cellar Dog. Cellar Dog. And I was waiting at the bar, and they were talking about something, and I chimed in, and then they were like, do you play pool a lot? And I was like, yeah. My, uh, you play with us. I was at Verizon, and I was getting a new phone, and I was transferring the data. I had 45 minutes, and the guy, I gave the guy that was transferring my phone data my phone number to text. <laughs> text about anime. His name's Brandon. Do you even watch anime? I I I said I watched more than I <laughs> ever. Oh, yeah. than I I've never heard you talk about anime. Not really. Yeah, anime. <laughs> yeah I always get into like UFC shit because of my yeah, cauliflower ear, and, yeah. and I just pretend to know everything they're talking about. Yeah, I've been, I'm like I just have a permanent tab of like the Naruto wiki on my phone now to talk to this guy. <laughs> I bought a PlayStation at a Target in Philly, and the dude who helped me at the store, he was like, yo, take my number. We could hit licks together on Call of Duty. Yeah. And I took his number. We never hit one single lick together. Fucking this, broke my heart. This guy asked me what my sign was, and I said cancer. He was like, I've never had a cancer friend. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Gave him my number. <laughs> you do? He has a streetwear uh, line, though. He sent me some clothes. Everyone's got a streetwear line these days. They, most of them suck, too. Yeah. They're so bad. Most of them are I'm terrible. A, I'm not even a hater. Streetwear is just an excuse to just put some shit on, put some shit on a logo or a logo on a t-shirt. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. a logo you logo. can't le- read. Or well, then I don't know what's a good one, easily. then. I can't discern. Of what a good logo is? What's a is? good streetwear like, style or brand or design? What's a good-looking one? Probably one that just like references something that's old and established, like a famous logo that they just rip off or yeah. make better. Hmm. Hmm. Heavy shirts that don't show your tits. I think that's love a heavy shirt. Best things about streetwear. Yeah. Tit minimizing. Whoa. I think Arian Foster actually likes you. I've never talked to Arian Foster. I think he likes you. Come on, man. 
What's the matter? He likes yeah, yeah, he likes. He's fine. He's cool with you. That's okay. Yeah, you guys are cool. You know what? Maybe I don't like him. <laughs> oh, oh you're gonna that's that. a problem. Okay. Uh, well, you do don't want to go against one of the two culture podcasts. It's a bad look. A million Not dollars for the worth culture. Game? More like a million uh, dollars uh, worth of. Don't do oh, it. Yeah. Don't say <laughs> it. I don't know if it's gonna. It better be great. <laughs> a million dollars worth of what? Motivation. I was gonna say lame. What's that a reference to? Tell me, Francis. <laughs> There's that one. And then the Pat Bev pod. Yep. Mm mm. Fat Fatrick Beverly. <laughs> oh shit. But now, man on the street high five vids. Yeah, that shit was fucking vir- viral as hell. Probably. What was it? He was just high five. High five and full. Did you see Donnie's Instagram posts? Was it this morning or last night? Michelangelo <laughs> really struggling on this three foot incline. Yes. He was. F- <laughs> he was flat. <laughs> It, it it was flat. It was <laughs> astounding. What was it? Michael Angelo, I guess, was on a little too much acid, he said. Uh, yes, that, that was true, but that's not a valid excuse. He just he was trying to climb up like a three-foot rock face and just got like stuck on it. I had to drag him up with one hand. He had like a panic attack, but yeah. <laughs> Can we see the video? Yeah. I think Wait, I'm fucked. Yeah, that? I don't know. I just It just comes natural to me. In solo. Hope solo. Is that a little kid doing it next to him? Fuck. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the alpinist. <laughs> the Don Wall. Can you no. give me a hand? Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, yes, yes, I got you. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is like cliffhanger. Where he lets the guy go. He's literally just oh, laying on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Boys. I can't. I can't let like, <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna let you go. <laughs> oh, like Sylvester Stallone and Cliffhanger. You're my fucking hero. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. shit. All right, I got you. That was a dramatic. Rate. Oh. KB had a very similar. Yeah, I can't talk. In y- yeah, Joshua you- Tree, he climbed up like a five foot boulder, and then we're like, all right, it's time to get down, and you're like, I can't, and you just like froze, and you're like, I, yeah. like, I cannot get down from here. But I mean, you are you have like a deathly afraid of heights. Or- um, falling. So if I'm on a structure that I could fall off of, then yes. But I could be on like the 80th floor. Okay, yeah. Coley, he couldn't even be That's on what they the 80th said, floor. Yeah. yeah. And I could be in an airplane. I was listening to Jefferson Airplane this morning. Yeah. They got some yeah. fucking hits, dude. And yeah, don't do. you want somebody love? One pill makes you larger. Yeah, what the fuck are they talking one about? One pill makes you smaller. Alice uh, in Wonderland? Yeah. And the pill that your mother gives you does nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love bro. that shit. I was That'll put that you in a whole morning. different mood. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Biking over the Uh huh. Good call. Bridge. It was so fucking good. And uh, I think Mr. Sparky's lingering. Yeah, Sparky said he wrote something new that he's been working on. I think he wants in. I think so, too. But will it be the same me- uh, melody? Will it be the same medley? You have medley. to hope. You would have to hope because that's a hit. He, he gave me a taste. And? I, gotta, I don't want to say anything. Francis, he likes yeah, you. Yeah, he's Here calm. comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this his? And, and... I don't know why it's so fucking short. Boys, boys, boys. And Mr. Sparky, welcome. Loading. And we're a culture yeah. pod. <laughs> you said you're going to eat us alive today? Eat us alive? Please, no. Yo, hit me, hit me right. Check it out. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Put a spoon on me. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Check it out. Mm. Should we be doing that? The beat? Should we snap? Are you asking for what do you the, want from us to do the I'm ready? Yeah. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Y'all ready to eat them alive? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The yak ball stool in my life, get it right. Don't you know I'm uptight? Money over, always right. Don't you know I understand the truth of life? Check it. Boom, 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 boom. God is so good. Boom, 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 boom. 
Things are so good. Boom, 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 boom. A oh, boss do change me. Boom, 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 boom. I used to hold that thing tight. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, everything is so right. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you feel me tonight. Boom, 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 boom. Up and down, don't you know I get it right? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I just hold that thing tight. Boom, 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 boom. Everything's so right now. Mm-hmm. Everything is right now. Boom, 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 boom. Up and down in my life. Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Hold that thing real tight. Boom, 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 boom. I'll still you all my life. Boom, Savior, boom, boom, boom. Savior right. in life. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm so, so you need. Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'd stack them bricks mm-hmm. every day mm-hmm. in my life. Oh, don't let the microphone not not tonight. Yep. Oh, I'm going to mm-hmm. get it right. Mm-hmm. 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 It's levels in life. Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all put a spell on me like. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, y'all put something in my life. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. I woke up this morning. Boom, oh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. boom. I'm still in my life. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. I got another song for you tonight. Talk to us now. Boom, boom. Y'all want to hear one more tonight. Oh, oh yeah. Boom, boom. Round and round in circles. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Ain't no joke. <laughs> That's right. All right, peace, y'all. All right, Sparky. Hey. That's all you got. Hey. Sparky. I got one more. Got one more? Oh, shit. No. So Sparky with the keys. Hey, Sparky, I have just one context question for you. You said, you kept saying, hold that thing tight. And what is the thing? I think he was talking about that steel beam. <laughs> Oh, we had that oh, hammer that in hammer. his life, and he's not talking about home improvement. And now I'm thinking right. That's it. Hope oh, that oh, answers your question, out. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know that it did. I feel like it started, it's like we hit replay on the song. I, <laughs> you said no, the it, hammer in your life. Yeah, Is that hammer. a gun or a penis? Well, whatever, whatever will make you happy. Oh, penis. Penis. reverse. That's <laughs> penis. 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 The ultimate penis. reverse. That's penis. Uh, yo, for real? <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> You'd I, rather hold a gun than a penis? No, but I, I, I'd rather for a girl to hold my. Yeah. But you said hold that thing in my life. Are you talking about her holding it? The hammer. Well, whatever. However you want it to be, baby. Okay. All Ooh, right. Beauty of poetry. That's in my song. Okay. Cool, right. cool. Right. Y'all want one more? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure y'all want one more. Yeah. Mm. So this is deep right here. Okay. You know I believe in God because God brought me here in my life to be. My heartbeat is so unique. We all bleed red in a place to be. Right? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know if I'm the guy to go to anymore. Uh... Right. No, I'm just, I'm just pointing. I really oh, okay. Know. Gotcha. Gotcha. This is, this is one of my favorite too. Mm. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know where we going. I don't know. But we going to leave here. Yes, my dear. We definitely going to leave here. Mm. But if your soul ain't right, if your soul ain't right, you going to see the devil tonight. Devil tonight. I don't mean, I don't mean... I'm just trying to do things really right. Mm. Woo! Mm. I don't know. I, I don't know. know. I don't know where we going. Where, where are we going? going? Well, we definitely going to leave here. We going to leave, leave here. here. Oh, yes, my dear. Oh, yes, yes my, my dear. dear. I said, I don't know. I, I don't know. know where I'm going. <laughs> where I'm <laughs> going. Well, we going to leave here. <laughs> We gonna leave here. I'll see you later. Y'all my friends. Oh, oh that's my friend. There we go. There we go. Mr. Sparky. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. You're rich. Yeah, yeah, Mr. yeah. Sparky. Yeah. All right. Oh, you oh, know. Oh, Nick. Yeah. Hey, someone took right. fell. That was my phone. That was my phone. phone. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. All right, All right Sparky. You. Thank you, Sparky. Right, Sparky. See you next week, bro. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. Oh, shit. 
I loved in the first one he was about to be like, "You all are my bro. I love you guys." <laughs> <laughs> He started to say, you guys are my brothers, and then right. pulled the parachute real fucking fast. That was cool. That was fun. I like that. Yeah, a little bit of... Sparky's uh, in and out. Mm-hmm. He gets what he needs to do. Soulful. And then he, and he bounces. Very soulful. Mm-hmm. Is that his uh, Bluesy. fifth song that he's performed? I don't know if he's like, well, kind of his yeah, first. Yeah, he's an EP <laughs> guy, Much for yeah. an EP. He's still on his first, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess so. Kind of a similar source material. It was it was a cool. But that's how blues approach. was though. There yeah. was like four uh, melodies in all of blues anyway. I want to go to a blues bar. That would be uh, awesome. Yeah, jazz or blues. Arthur's in West Village is a good blues bar. All right, boom, done. Yeah, I'm there. You've been? Oh yeah, many times. Sass is Ash an old soul. Ash Ash sold his soul at the crossroads <laughs> <laughs> to listen to blues music. <laughs> You know, it's a great blues bar in Chicago is, um, fuck. Chicago's full of them, though. Chicago's got a Even great Even downtown, one. there's just a ton of them. Let me find it. Didn't we go to one, Sass? Mm-hmm. No. I don't think we've ever been to Chicago. All right, let me go fuck myself. I'm actually going to go ahead. And I don't think we've ever myself. been to Chicago together, have we? I heard that there's a great jazz bar. Uh, Robbie Fox went out and, like, smoked a joint on his deck, and his neighbor he met. Also, who he like shares a deck space with, they own a jazz bar in like 125th in Harlem or something like that. Mm. I have been meaning to go because imagine knowing the owner at the fucking jazz bar. How fucking yeah. cool would that feel? It's hip. It's mm. cool. Going through the back mm. door or something. It's like probably in the way that New York is set up. You, there's not like actually a back door like that, but still, the whole thought process of it. Nick, when you move to Chicago, are you going to join an improv troupe? <laughs> no. <laughs> Secretly? Oh, God, no. Imagine if we caught you doing that. Oh I'd, oh, I'd be ruined. I think the Chicago <laughs> office should become the improv office, and then the New York office is the stand-up Stand office. Up, it's yeah. fair to still call this one the comedy if we're just doing improv. <laughs> <laughs> then we can do we need a word, a deadly disease, and a race. Oh, yeah, Kingston Mines in Chicago. It's okay. really, really fun. It's big, too. Two stages. Ooh. They, like, rotate. Like, you'll watch a show, and there's one, and then they'll be like, all right, there's another show happening in the other one. It's fun. Everyone runs over to the next one, like a festival stage. It's really fun. I remember I was there, and there was this, like, uh, there was this, like, old-ass lady sitting in the front, and she gets up, and she's, like, got, like, a cane, and she walks onto the stage, and, like, right when she gets to where she's, like, right in front of the microphone, instantly, like, her line comes in. Like, she timed it, like, so perfect. It was was awesome. That's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It is all about timing. Music. And comedy, especially improv. Are those the only two types of comedy? Improv and <laughs> stand up? <laughs> stand up. Improv seems kinda like a racket though. Like apparently for Second City, first you have to join their like D team. Francis and, was in an improv and pay for classes, which yeah. Caroline was saying the classes are, were like seven hundred dollars a class or something like that. And like Comedy you, classes I feel like are maybe one of the more stupid things. You had to pay you know, for improv is a, a weird thing you need other people for it kind of and then you need it's all rules based yeah yes and i feel like once you start treating comedy like some like science it becomes water it's mid-level marketing for class clowns yeah wow yeah but well, really like the only level. way to get good at it is just to <laughs> do it yeah, <laughs> yeah it, is. It's a pyramid scheme. it is those really good improvisers are pretty funny i want to start a physical comedy troupe <laughs> slapstick yeah, yeah slapstick yeah, that troupe. shit is good that's what wrestling basically is. But yeah, like right. those guys need a different outlet. Like there needs to be an outlet for goofy wrestlers who want to just get smacked in the back of the head with a ladder or something like Three Stooges. I'm sure that there's local played. there's local teams. Slapstick? Yeah. There should be. But there's only a couple outlets for physical comedy, like the Blue Man Group and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> what would you call Nelk? Are they a physical comedy troupe? <laughs> Do they? Uh, what are they? Pranks? You see the? That's how they started. Nelk and what Andrew do. Schultz beef. Yes, it was awesome. We watched it. Yeah, I watched some of it. I thought it was pretty underwhelming. I didn't yeah. really, I didn't really understand what what happened. I think it was just I they was didn't on, put out the ep- They wouldn't put out the episode. That's what happened. They mean girls him. Yeah. yeah, but they eventually put it out though. <laughs> yeah, they put it out recently, right? And it was just Twitter. an uncomfortable conversation. Yeah, they didn't really know who he was. They just yeah. knew. what? Yeah, it yeah, was they really just, weird. Like, knew he had a huge following. It was like, all right, this guy's really famous. We should have him on. But then they were asking him questions. They were like, "Have you ever like responded to a heckler?" 
Yeah. And he's like, all right, you guys clearly haven't even seen like a oh. clip of my comedy. Also, he's been doing comedy for like 20 years. And like, has anyone ever interrupted your set? Have you ever seen someone be on your phone? <laughs> yeah. It was like, that's the, uh, those are the best questions you guys have. Wow. That is pretty tough. But yeah. he was also just, someone of his caliber. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like, what are you guys, what are we doing here? He was very uh, upfront about it. He wasn't having, having it. I, I like that about him. He's just well, my question is, why did he go on the show in the first place? I think he was is promoting it, a special. This was last yeah. year. This was like November of last year oh. that he recorded it. And they're a popularized podcast as Huge, well. Huge, right? Yeah, yeah so. Yeah, both mm. using one another. Symbiotic. Mm. Also, I think it was like, it was one of those, it was probably like a UFC thing where a bunch of people were in town. That's uh, the vibe that I got from it. You picked up a UFC in town. I got vibe. a very UFC <laughs> vibe. <laughs> That's what it all. I mean, the Nelk boys are always at a UFC thing. I feel like. Yeah, Dana White loves. Always with guys. Dana White. I watched the Jake Paul Untold documentary last night. Oh, that's out. Yeah. Came t- came out two days ago. You watch it alone? Yeah. That's pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, dude. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. Well. I don't know. There's something in it that I wanted to tell you guys about, but if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it. I don't. No, you're good. Tell us. Yeah, Feel free to spoil. Us. Jake Paul. Uh, uh, viewers. Accuses, <laughs> yeah. accuses his dad of abusing him physically. Whoa. Beating him up when he was a kid. And then the dad sort of denies it early in the doc. And then later he goes, I don't know why he's so worried about that. Look at your life. <laughs> it, whatever I did worked out. Oh my God! He says that. Or him and his dad not on speaking terms? It's so strange. There's a moment right before one of Jake's biggest fights. I don't know. One of the fucking massive pay-per-view record fights, where uh, they're in the locker room, and the dad it, Logan is standing next to them, and the dad says to Jake, "Like, how you doing?" And Jake is like, "Good. I'm chilling." And then Logan comes up to the dad and is like, I heard you and Jake aren't on speaking terms. And the dad's like, I don't know like where we're at. You know, I'm not sure. You know him one minute. And you realize that the, the whole power dynamic has shifted because now Jake Paul is this mega star who makes oodles of money and can probably at that point beat up his dad. Yeah. So now his dad is doing he's walking on eggshells and wants to make sure he can stay in Jake's circle. Not get beat up. Or taken off, presumably, the payroll. Interesting. The point when you can beat up your dad is a weird family shift. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be there. No. Oh, yeah, your dad is like a fucking Iron Man triathlete type body. Beautiful body. It, yeah. Incredible lats, <laughs> deep lats, like, that go oh, down did he to make the top feel, of his ass. Did he make you feel him? Oh, Yeah. <laughs> I rode those things. Was like that the ski the ski slope. ball show? Yeah, yeah, he did make you feel him. Yeah, I was groping the bottom of his lats, and they're so low. Yeah, like he could have dangled off. I that still rock. can't even like open like a bottle of soda after my dad closes it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like that's like a massive issue for me. Uh, <laughs> like he'll 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 massive close issue. the diet coke bottle too, too so tight. Hard. They do they do close yeah. it tight. Yeah, they've mastered it. Yeah. And I have to like go find him and be like, "Can you open this?" <laughs> <laughs> I could destroy my dad. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Francis? I don't. I don't like to think about I, but it. It makes me. I so never sad. would. I never would. It. That is to me is a. a would you pummel him? <laughs> you definitely could. Definitely. Okay. You could probably pummel most people that age. Just p- most people. Yeah. Uh, may, may, maybe, but to face that reality saddens me because it's a sign of his mortality. And uh, well, he was always mortal. Yeah, always. Age. I guess I mean the the reality that my dad is is. Oh, the no. second I can beat up my dad, it's on. My dad used to tell me when I turned. Club. My dad was like, Destroy "When you turn eighteen, beautiful. we're gonna fight." <laughs> for the whole for the first eighteen years of my life, every day my dad would be like, "When we turn, when you turn eighteen, I'm gonna beat your <laughs> ass." Count down yeah. in the living room. <laughs> yeah. Is with, the, with the male brain will think about fighting on a daily basis <laughs> constantly and then go 30, 50, 70 years without ever doing it. I hope to never do it. Yeah, we never fought. Damn. What? It does like you punch me in the back sometimes, though, and it really hurts. Your dad? <laughs> yeah, I'll just be walking and he'll just punch me in the back and laugh and I'll be like, I'll like fall to the ground because it hurts <sighs> so much. <laughs> 
Does he pour milks on your head too and no. uh, shove you in lockers? No. Are you the son of a goy dad? Oh yeah. Or? No, other way. Oh, okay. What is a goy dad? Son of a goy mom. Yeah. What is that? You don't know what a goy means? Which half, no. is, which half is of your a goy means Jewish? Oh, I'm not up to, I'm not up to date on the slang. I uh it's no my dad's my dad's very Jewish. Old, very old <laughs> my dad's Jewish. He's a goy. I guess. No, no, goy no. is non Jewish. Oh, I'm a son yeah, of a goy. It's what mom. Jewish people call non Jewish people. My mom is a goy, my dad is oh, okay. a Jew. Yep. Let's go. So you're, then you're not. Christian ass dad is yeah. abusing his Jewish son. No, my dad's Jewish. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, so that's cool. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Just punching you in the back. Does he like uh like a boxer? Like ksh. He'll give me like ten percent strength and it like brings me to the floor. <laughs> How's he so strong? Yeah, what he just works out. Really? He always has. You have good grip strength? You have a jack dad? Yeah. And now, because then he had like a heart attack and now he's like skinny as fuck. Way to bring it down. Sorry, bro. Bring the Way vibe down. I mean, that's just what down. happened. Now he just now he just runs like 13 miles a day. I'm kidding. I don't mind knowing that about your dad. Sometimes like really healthy people randomly have heart attacks. It's kind Ronnie of James. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's just terrifying. Young, healthy oh, God, people. Yeah. Healthy, athletic people. What's the fallout from that? I don't. I don't know yet. I don't know what the. I think it's been pretty private, right? Is he going to be able to come back and play? There was a guy named Keontae Johnson who played for Florida that had a heart attack on the court. He came back and played, at, but it was like a year later. That Demar Hamlin's in practice, like scrimmages and stuff, right? Now. Madden rating went down from last year. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't. Stamina make zero. Injuries <laughs> high. <laughs> this guy's got no heart. Yeah, that, but I think that a lot, like P Pete Maravich, I think died prematurely from a heart attack. I think that it's That's right. Mm -hmm. Comes to if I had one, I don't know if I would continue to play. If you got it, you don't play anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what Pokemon? Yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that battle against Lance was too intense. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that would be quit. such a shitty way to go. Got to get back out there. Having to lie to your coworkers <laughs> about why you had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, are you concerned about how many sports people are going to be playing in the Chicago office? Yeah, every single day. <laughs> yeah, Especially you working on your jump shot? No, dude, I don't have. No, there's there is like nothing to build up. There is no, there is no clay to mold. I have, I just don't have it. Same, bro. So I'm just going to avoid the giant basketball court in the center of the office. <laughs> I thought you. I thought everyone was. I thought you did looked pretty good in the softball. I nobody expect you to be a pro softball oh, yeah. player, but I thought well, you looked pretty basketball, good. Basketball. You can't fake basketball. You no, get lucky no, with baseball no. at all. Oh, it's impossible. But it, the good thing is that there's no one at the company that's really that good at basketball, except for maybe at Mark Bev. Titus. I mean, Mark Titus. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon. Yeah, oh, yeah, supposedly that shit was that. That's terrifying. Brandon got in a bad car accident. Yeah, he hydroplaned. Oh, yeah. And was this? He said that there were seven people he told, and one of them was Nick. Yeah, like Bob Dylan. And then he randomly texted me the other night, and I think he was trying to gauge if I had heard. Okay. Like he wanted to see if I was gonna sit, like be like, "Dude, I'm so glad you're alive," but I, I hadn't heard. I uh, texted just, me all week, didn't say a word about the first it. Thing, yeah, what? The first thing I asked him though is what song was playing, because when I, I hydroplaned once, it was scary. And uh, I can't listen to the song anymore. Was it a good song? No, not really. It was just a random loop. It was a Panic at the Disco song. Which one? Death of a Bad Bachelor. You sweat. <laughs> 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 what, so what was his answer? Uh, he said no. Uh, there was a song playing. He didn't tell me, but he said it, he doesn't care. But he'll, we'll see. Wouldn't it be kind of ironic if Brandon if had this? If there was no rain. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, if he had this incredible rise to fame, got a show here. With the theme song, or with the song entrance of No Rain, and then got killed in a rainstorm. That's some final. Yes, yes, that would have been I Jesus ironic. Christ. Is the word I would choose. <laughs> yeah. ah, the irony. Yeah. Our dead coworker. Oh, it's it was for sure. He's he's really shaken up. It's like ten thousand spoons when all you need is a knife. Really. He did buy a I'm new Jeep. He's been sending me cars. Got well, here's Jeep. speaking of uh, Wrangler, Brandon Walker, four door Wrangler. Mm, why interesting. I have a question. Why? Yeah, what is it? You seen a Walker lately? Have you seen those walkers that elderly people use for yeah. stability? I haven't seen that many. Seen that many. Why is two gutted tennis balls still the top technology <laughs> that we have to keep those things steady? Yeah. How is that 
as far as we've come. That's like if everybody who bought a car also had to buy a bugle to like out the windows. <laughs> like, yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna adjust that. Just it, buy a bugle. As if it's not uh, demoralizing enough that they need this thing to use to get around. You've got two bright neon tennis balls cut and gutted. To, to, to what? And to buy them, you have to go to the store with the most active people on earth, athletes. Yeah, they're going to they're dicks with an X-Acto knife <laughs> and ripping out uh, like the, the, like the stuffing. Jewish. Yeah. Or I guess they're... they're There's no stuffing, but still. They're maybe open. it's swaggy. Maybe like it's like a mark of being like, I don't know, like it's, it's like a little bit of a piece of flair. Or something. I don't I'm know. I'm guessing there is new technology. The old people like to use what they've always. Yeah. The last known. three walkers I've seen have had the tennis balls. Yeah, they should just be slick. Or can we look up what the newest like walker technology is? Most expensive. I mean, it's one. probably just those rascal s- scooters, the electronic ones. Yeah. But no, I mean or that's, a that's more of city a bike. wheelchair. Yeah. Did uh, any of your garages have the tennis ball on the string? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What was that for? See, so, yeah, where to park the car. car in. And once you hit it, you knew you'd gone far enough? Yeah. It's on the windshield, you stop. Yeah, no, I didn't have You that. only had eight cars in the 12-car garage. <laughs> we so didn't even have a garage. We parked outside Damn. in the elements. Whoa. And then in the morning. He actually the always parked outside. Freezing. So it was like the wheels. Do the wheels like run away oh. from them? Oh, wait. They, yeah, they could. They got handbrakes. Oh, yeah, but the elderly don't really have the grip strength to... Um, That's a really good sale right now. Yeah, what? That must be trash. We mu- They're giving that away. You should buy that for Nate. What are the t- colors? <laughs> <laughs> is he back on his feet these days? Yeah. I haven't seen the him boot, right? I think so. Yeah, he's He came in shuffling in like a Six Flags commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Summer of Nate. Anytime this summer I've been like sad or anything, I've just I've thought of Nate and it's cheered me up. Why? Because you have it better than him. Because <laughs> you're on two feet. <laughs> no, that's yeah. fucked up. Could be worse. Yeah. <laughs> Could be covered in milk. <laughs> Bro, that's that's a it. Pinnacle baby. Killed me. I watched that clip so many times. <laughs> yeah. God. That made me laugh so hard. I'm glad people that uh, outside of these walls are seeing the mystique of Meek Phil. The dog shit step, just uh, he's yeah, he's an interesting Steve Phil. Yeah, yeah. Who put this dog shit here? <laughs> That's that was his response to what the stepping fuck? on dog shit. He's the only person in the office banned from doing crosswords. Why? Because he walked up one day while we were doing the crossword, googled the answer, said it, still wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> banned. One person on the list. Who made the call to ban him? Austin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, this dude's fucking out of here. <laughs> Get him out of here. That's hilarious. Yeah. The just abject refuse. I know he knows that TH sounds exist. I know he knows it. <laughs> and he just refuses to use the TH sound. He's acting. Is he a despian? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's so pure. I fucking love it. I also have been noticing a. I, I have a, a new ick. If I could share it with you guys, it's when people put make a D instead of a double T sound, like when someone says Manhattan. Oh yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> that Frank the Tank doesn't he do that with like every word? Well, or Frank gives you the ick. He's allowed to do whatever he. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> but he doesn't say it's Manhattan to, to D. He has a yeah. Oh, yeah. He has a different swing to it. I say with instead of with sometimes. It's annoying. Is that an accent thing, though? No. The way you say S A W, saw. Yeah, I say yes. Sar. I don't mind it. I think that's an accent thing. It sounds British. Exactly. It's cool because the Brits do that. Right. With all my brothers, like Donny. (laughs) (laughs) You're going out with us. (laughs) I thought I spoke 100% perfectly normal and then when I started working here people would just be like he says that weird that weird and you hit yeah, the, your T's hard that guy accused you of being a Biden supporter and tried to stab you solely yeah. based on how you talked yeah that's what uh, did you say he was just okay. like you uh enunciate like yeah. your, your words and he's like this guy definitely voted for Biden yeah I'm gonna fucking stab that him me. that sucked <laughs> that was my first work trip you gotta Jesus. talk more blue collar yeah you make a you make a U sound out of a long A sound sometimes. I think that might be Pittsburghy. Yeah, like za becomes becomes za. 
Oh, yeah. That type of thing. But everybody has accents. No one is without them. Except for maybe a little Sasquatch. Um, What? I don't have an accent. That's what I just said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, my buddy keeps on calling me. I'm trying to tell Which one? Whoa. Buddy? <laughs> Yo! Pick it up. Uh, Pick no. it up. Well, who is I'd it? Love to, I'd love to meet him. No, he's uh, my friend Bo. <laughs> <laughs> of course. It's always Bo. Always. Oh. <laughs> Such a not funny thing. Stop <laughs> typing like that too. Stop typing with your pinky like that. I was entering the password into my phone. Uh, <laughs> What's not a funny thing? What do you, what else do you want me to say? What else do people want me to say? I know. I, I don't know. Oh, it is. All right, I just love it. It's always Bo. Sorry, my friend. Just start calling him by his first name as if he's part of the show. Yeah, and then people are gonna be like, people are gonna get mad at that and fucking win. Can't do anything, right? <laughs> it's fucking bullshit, man. It's fucking bullshit. I'm curious what you guys are all doing this weekend. I'm gonna pack up my apartment, man. You need help? No. Fuck. I'm not doing. Actually, I guess I've got shows all weekend. Yeah, you're probably at shows at the stands. I gotta fly to Ireland tomorrow. Oh yeah! Wow. Getting married a week from tomorrow. Hey! Oh! Wow. Hey, 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 party. Hey. You have a bachelor party right now. I, no, after the I show. I did not have time to do it. Like, I'm already making all my friends fly to Ireland. Yeah. I didn't want to also, like, make them fly somewhere for a bachelor party. Makes sense. But I still would love to do one. So, can you do a blade? Yes. Right yes. before? Yeah. That's yeah. a thing. That's, like, like more old fashioned uh, traditional. Yeah. That's good. Crack a couple noons. Oof. I could just wait four years and just throw, like, a. Hold it. A 40th birthday party. Hold the credit. I think you should wait 20 years. Yeah, I mean. That's what my friend's doing. I feel like it's a harder sell for like when my friends go to their wife and they're like, all right, I got to go to Donnie's bachelor party. And they're like, he got married two years ago. <laughs> yeah, but No, you're not going. That's why 20 years from now. When you're 50. But Donnie swims with hippos and shit, dude. You're 20 years is a yeah, <laughs> tall, right. tall. Yeah. Donnie, what is, are you? What is that in your hand? Ah, uh, this is a. I don't know if they're a sponsor of the yak. Have you had one? I got. Wait, what is it? A proper wild. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. Wrong yeah. thing. I, I thought it was something else. Are you talking about the? Uh, Did you think it was kratom? Things? No, I thought it was one of those like uh, drink before you drink things. Oh no! But P of T gave me one of those a couple weeks ago, and I think it actually worked. But Did I it? I don't know if if it was the placebo, but the next morning, like the edge was taken off my. Yeah. Hangover. Really. Yeah. Some sort of, I don't know, supplement. Dude, I don't get hangovers when I have high noons. It's something crazy about the high noon. I think it's the low calorie count mixed with the lack of gluten, mixed with the incredible flavors of them. Is and just, the lack of malt, I think, helps, too. Yeah, there's no malt. There's no malt, and it just changes everything. It's got that clean finish, too. Like, you can taste the hangover not happening in your mouth with every sip, and then you combine that with the fact that they have flavors like passion fruit, lime, strawberry, grapefruit. I mean, the tequilas are just absolutely elite. Out of this world. They truly are out of this world. I don't, one of the first things I moved into my new apartment was a fresh case of high noons. And look at them just dancing up there in the fucking moonlight. Oh my gosh. You can get them for yourself on Drizzly or at your local convenience or liquor store or visit highnoonspirits.com to find some delightful, delicious, delectable high noons near you. Yum. And do I love high noons. KB, you have an answer. What are you doing this weekend? This weekend, I'm going to Maresh's tonight to play video games. Okay. I got the, what's the restaurant called I want to try? You want to try Winsun. Winsun. And oh, my God. It's incredible. You, you know it? What oh, are my they, God. St- what was the item? Come with us? Taiwanese. And it's like it was started by an American guy who lived over there for a while and just fell in love with the cuisine. And he's a chef. And then he brought it back. Started a restaurant in Queens, and it's you can do smash that. burgers are incredible. The fried chicken. I've always wanted to like incredible. Do that I thought I'd be accused of cultural appropriation if you've I opened done, up. You've done the time. If I opened up a Chinese place, you've done the time. Or that like Chinese people be like, "What the fuck? This guy is, is taking all our business." Yeah, I mean, he's he's uh, written up in everything. I think the premier item oh. is their bacon, egg, and cheese on a scallion pan. Oh, That's, I've heard I of that. To try that sounds amazing. Yep, that is hilarious. That's the to be like line is around the corner. Yeah. They also, you got to have the fly's head. It's all the ricey dishes that are so, so good. In COVID, they started delivering, and they hadn't done that before. And we used to order it constantly. And now sometimes they'll open up their, they'll toggle their delivery thing on when they're, like, not super busy, but they're pretty busy. That's out in Queens. It's in Williamsburg. Williamsburg? Yeah. 
getting a plate of food that's delicious and then finding out that like a white person cooked it and being disgusted is hilarious. I make myself vomit. Like, what the hell is system. this? You know, like a vegetarian who like tr- ate meat yeah. accidentally for the first time? Like what a fucking white person cooked this Chinese food? Being incensed by it? I think if food Andrew tastes good, Zimmern, that's a pretty good yeah. meritocracy. Andrew Zimmer was canceled because he opened up, I think, like a chain of high-end Chinese food in the Midwest. And like he was like, finally, like the people of the Midwest deserve like high-quality Chinese food. And finally, they can get it at my restaurants. And all the people who like the Chinese people that own restaurants in the Midwest were like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, and so I think he had to like backstep and I don't know, maybe just Didn't like- do it? Yeah. How is the food? I never tried his spots there. Probably. Doesn't matter Probably if the incredible. food tasted good. Don't you get it, KB? I know he was sort of canceled for that, though. But Larry Nasser made that menu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah. He got stabbed, though, so you can really, you can, we can all really enjoy that. He got stabbed in jail badly. Oh, yeah. He got, oh like, shit. Bizarre Foods host fired after calling Chinese restaurants in the Midwest horse shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I think they canceled his show for that. Oh my god. Damn. I'll be. Maybe he just had some bad experiences. I mean, the Rangoons in the Midwest are better than New York. Maybe he's a quarter Japanese like KB. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You could yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> I feel like I know someone who's a quarter <laughs> Japanese that looks like KB. Yeah. Do we? Does anyone here know a Japanese person? Yeah, no. I've one. I've one Japanese friend. He was. I actually met him in Japan. He was. He. Oh yeah, that. So he's from New York. Um, and then my first time in Japan, he's like, I'm a huge fan of Barstool. Like he moved to Japan after college, and he was like, Let's meet up. I'll show you around. Ended up being a great guy. Yeah. Zayan. Shout out Zian. He took me out to eat raw horse. <laughs> raw? Raw horse. Incredible. Uh, I bet it was. Very good. Horse is Not, good, or zebra was good, so I imagine horse is good. Yeah, it was like served like sushi, a little slab of raw horse on a little nugget of rice. Wow. Oh, man. That is, uh, what, co- what, what color was the meat? Bright red. Yeah. Does that trouble you? Um, I don't know. I prefer my animal that I'm going to eat to be caged up in a in a small ass area that they cannot move until the moment they're slaughtered. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think. Did you ever see the movie Seven Years in Tibet? No, I know that Brad Pitt was um, banned from China for like five years because of that. Really? Yeah. He eats raw horse in that, and it. I was a kid when I saw it, and it stayed with me. But I guess it, I've eaten horse, but it was cooked. Did you eat horse in the U.S.? No, and uh, I ate it in Iceland. Sasha. Okay. Yeah, because I think it's uh, illegal in the U.S. Or it's mm. cheap. <laughs> cheap alternative to cow. Wait, it was not cheap. This was like the most expensive meal I had there. Yeah, you, got, like you got scammed, brother. <laughs> they probably charge it more for Americans so they can't get it in America. Just, Just for clogging Chicago. our fucking toilet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck trying to pass this. <laughs> A dense ass horse. Yeah. Horse ass. Are horses more dense than cows? Muscular, certainly. Horses are so muscular. It's insane. I've got, uh, there's a stable uh, near this place I go to now, and I'll go in there and just uh, pat the horses a lot. It's awesome. It's really therapeutic. Nah, they scare the fuck out. I, horses mm. scare me so yep. much. Once, once you get over that, and you can you can put your face against theirs, and you <sighs> you hold you hold their neck, and it, you whisper to them. Yeah, I never got people saying they're beautiful too. Oh or any animal. What? What a beautiful. What? They're the most what beautiful animal. Yeah. Stunning. And like fuckable, like fuckable, beautiful too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah like they're. No. <laughs> I guess I'm in. Are you think she? I, I think they are like. Aesthetically beautiful, like a mountain. Yeah, I could but see not that. like se- sexy. Sexy. So, what animal is to you? I don't think any of them are. By well, my one of them has to be the most sexy. Are, some are more closer to human a, sex. A cheetah or a leopard is pretty sexy. Like, sexy. Uh, female lion. I mean, uh, the lion sleek. king. What has sexy. a go- what has a good body as a animal? What is a what is a sexy body? A dolphin's vagina looks ex- <laughs> extremely fuckable. 
Oh my god. TJ, can you bring up a Holy photo shit. of uh, even Chase Racy? Hey, TJ, <laughs> can you please bring up a photo of? Uh, no, no, we can't. Johnny? We can't. No, we can't. Dude, I thought you were gonna say no, like, no, realistic. No, 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 human? No, no, not even realistic. You can't bring it up. Dude, no, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, we need to know. No, no, we can't. Bring up the dolphin poon. No, no, no. <laughs> we're going to get yeah. we're going to get banned. Oh. Dolphin poon. Bring it on here. Wait, I got to find a, a good photo. There's, di- there's <laughs> no way we're going to be allowed to show it. Yeah, p- pass no, it around on yeah. phone. Don't, don't he's don't going through no, his bank bank. He's, yeah. right. he's right. He's right. He's right. Look at Zah. I can't even find a oh. photo. <laughs> <laughs> Word to moms? What? And Za just spent another monthly budget on OnlyFans. <laughs> At the Baltimore Aquarium. Yeah. <laughs> Can we see this? Uh, I can't even find it. Oh, I mean, it's find an exact. No, we'll, we'll get taken down. Oh, yeah, find yeah, it on your phone. It's an replica. exact replica. Wow. Of what? Oh, okay, yeah. You got a fat pom pom. Mm. Exactly right. that. It's <laughs> a fat, exactly that. A fat pom pom. Oh. <laughs> Who said bad man don't dance? I mean, it's just like, yeah. Who told you that dolphins don't dance? It looks clean. <laughs> <laughs> it looks... It, you no, have, imagine the smell, though. You have thought about it. I mean, I think that people have that feeling about sheep, but for me, it's horses. Yeah, like, if someone says that girl is built like a horse... I think I think that's a compliment. No way! Absolutely no. not. Oh, if you say my boy like, comes like, say, yeah. it's like, oh, this chick talking about horse face. Fa- that's that looks bad. bad but but she's built just like a if horse. She's built. It means she's like like very thick and got like yeah, you want her ass and you you want her throw angry. that in your wedding vows next week and see what happens. <laughs> when I first saw you, <laughs> you're so much more than being built like a horse. <laughs> Someone you want anchoring your tug of war team. My At God. first, I was attracted to just your horse-like figure. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, I realized there was much more. Kanye has a lyric like that, like. Nice as Bum B when I met him at the Source Awards. Girl he had with him, ass could have won the Horse Awards. Yeah, so I, says, I'm with I, you, Donnie. I, I think these guys so, are shaming you while well, they're trying to f- fuck Dolphin or whatever they're trying to do. Maybe specifically the ass, if you had uh, an ass like an, the ass of a horse, yes. maybe. But if you're saying she's built overall like a horse... That to me invokes a very muscular woman with with very squared shoulders and and kind of. Uh, She's driving railroad spikes every day. Yeah. So what animal? Then? What animal are you? Are so you're sick sticking with line, like uh, cats? Big. I'm trying cats? to think of a of an animal cats that has sexy. nice boobs. I don't think I'm not really I mean, into bestiality. Donnie was right. The dolphin does have an undeniably clean pussy. <laughs> it's clean. Yeah. Probably smells like water. Oh, tastes very like water. Sass is too good. For the dolphin pussy smells like water. <laughs> yeah. Well, apparently that's the sign of a, a clean vagina. It should smell like water. Like like, like pool like water. Like pool water. <laughs> yeah. Or like not ocean water. No, no, you or don't. Or river water. No. <laughs> Probably like tap water. Yeah. Scentless tap water. It, it should smell like New York tap. That's that's how you know. Mineral rich. Yeah. That's how you know someone has a clean vagina. You know, you know, Lake Baikal, or I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, yeah, it's in Russia. I, I never knew how deep it is. How Enough deep, is deep to fill up the entirety of Asia and Africa with five feet of water. What? Wow. Africa oh. is it fresh enormous. water? I don't think. Ah, uh, because I know the Great Lakes are like the majority of the world's fresh water. Yeah. Flex, flex by us that we have it right there, just whenever we want. And they're saying that's where to go when uh, climate change stuff. Yeah, they said it's the, the Great Lakes. Next war is going to be a water war. The U.S. is oh, like the, the next- best geographic country in the world. Like it's the best set up geographically. Yeah, we're so for the lit. future. So like, yeah, really? Yeah, like we're in great shape comparatively. Well, I mean, we all, none of us will be here, but yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. So, just ask no animals. Like you're not, not a jellyfish or anything like that. No, none for me. Wow. I can't I can't think I like of a of, of an animal. Yeah, it, it is it keeps coming back to the the feline family. That's a good thing that you can't think. We, yeah, we should really not be able app. to think of any. Monkeys are gross. Louis CK has that bit where he's like he's like if no if <laughs> he's like he's like if no one ever told me not to fuck dogs, I would definitely be fucking dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like human instinct not to. <laughs> And that's a great comedian, and you can't think of one that you... Unbelievable, Sass. 
a little more life experience, I guess, is on the docket for you. <laughs> we'll talk to you down the road. He's not bored of humans yet. <laughs> Are you? I've been there for a long time. Been bored of human? <laughs> yeah. That's a dark road. Just going up and shushing a horse. Shh, 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 shh. Francis is going to the stables again. Yeah, but you don't, you don't, you don't top a horse. Shh, 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 shh. You only bottom from a horse. Oh, right? No, no. I think it's that's that's how yeah, Catherine. There's a community you would die that fucks donkeys. Right. Well, maybe Tra- donkeys. as tradition, like the boys turn thirteen or they hit puberty, then they go to the fuck the donkey. But they really? f- fuck the donkey. The donkey doesn't. Yeah, they that. fuck the donkey. Yeah, sure. But I'm saying, I think, I think a horse is. Is just too. How are you gonna? You have to get like a ladder. How are you gonna do that? They're just trying to hone how, how their the, craft. How would you do vice versa? I think you need a team of people. Isn't to help that you. how Mister Hands died? Yeah. Yeah, and look what happened to him. Died. Well, <laughs> he died. <laughs> Picked the wrong horse. <laughs> That's what it was. Uh, Bit off I think more than he could chew. The smallest horse cock is still like a little too big for a human. There's got to be some micros in that community. We cannot be the only mammal that's getting microed. Female hyenas have a penis. Learn that. <laughs> I, that that's actually true. Wait, you what? See, uh, like female hyenas have like a fake a fake penis that they I don't know why I think they use to like maybe assert dominance over strap the male on. at times. Yeah, they have a, a yeah, built-in strap they, on. Don't they like attack once once? Once I think once they're done mating, they like attack the guy, or something crazy like that. They like Jeez. go after the guy. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Been there. <laughs> cannot trust these hoes. Nope. Certainly cannot. The New York seating chart was leaked. Oh yeah. What do you guys think? Francis Sass, are you guys happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, you know, <laughs> smoke yourself in the face of the mic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like uh, the people I'm sitting around. I don't. Also, who you know? Who cares? Who cares? Yeah. Is anyone here today? Or is it completely empty? Be people, people are here. I mean, uh, see here. It's unfortunate. Uh, that's there's, misleading. There's a ton of people here because all the desks are being deconstructed. Yeah. So everyone's in the gambling cave. Oh. Well, Jack Mac is posted the video earlier today. I don't know if you walked around and saw it, but. What did he say? It was an all time blunder or something like that? He said, Barstool is a third world country. That's what Jack Mac said? Yeah, that was <laughs> one of the things he said. So the prices are great and the food's delicious? Barter for seashell necklaces. Yeah. Someone just. Oh yeah, everyone is in the gambling. Game. Jerking <laughs> off. Uh, Hell oh, 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 oh. on. Imagine he was. <laughs> Why did he just get so scared? I don't know. Is he watching the act? Pulled up dolphin pussy. Stuffing his dick away. Oh man, he's a grinder though. Yeah. Big time. Yep. He is a massive grinder. I heard that people, people don't like that. There's that it's video game central around here. Someone complained to me offline about that. Who? Nate? Yeah, someone was saying it's like a daycare for adults. I think like the office that? looks like, like a pediatrician's waiting room. Okay. Yeah, we were talking about how they have the fucking Connect Four. <laughs> we're going to get the wild pieces. The yeah. yeah. I like we that. We have, the, we have a Connect Four that's literally for children so that you don't swallow the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> that's how big the pieces are. Most Connect Four... <laughs> It's not that big. And I've been playing. Yeah. They're these massive plastic pieces. Just in case. Yeah. The playpen is uh, roped off with a little Mattel fence so you don't stumble into the real workers. Yeah. The people, I guess, are angry that every yesterday was a bacchanal of, of gaming. I played games all day. You were off that fucking uh, Fortnite. Four and then I came in second on Fortnite. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Is there a crowd around you? I don't really yes. know. There yes, like, there was. Kareem, Kareem seemed like weirdly mad that I was doing well. Why? I could see that. He just kept on being like, you're playing against all fucking bots. And I'm like, dude, I don't care. <laughs> I haven't played, I, lo- I opened up the game and I haven't played this game in like five years. You also that like connected it to your internet or something like that. Or like you, you like troubleshot it. No one had been able to set it up. You like did it within two seconds, got under the hood. I just logged onto the Barstool Wi-Fi. Boy genius. They were trying to get onto the Ethernet, but the Ethernet wasn't working, so I just connected to the regular Wi Fi and it works completely fine. And you fucking were building Dyson motherfuckers up like a vacuum cleaner. It was nice. It's funny that the seating chart came out and uh it's 
every seat is spoken for. Everyone. So just if one new person is added, what do you what do you do? Like it's done. <laughs> no one can I'll be, be yeah. added. It's one in, one out. Like a applying. <laughs> it's Paul's Casablanca. <laughs> What? Just been spinning the wheel. Oh, you yeah. You bored? No. Just has ADD out the ass. Just playing with this board. You're like Joyner Lucas with the ADD. I knew ADD was chalked when rappers were starting to talk about it. <laughs> Who started that? Joyner Lucas has like his whole album's like yeah. attention deficit disorder is labeled as a disease that affects more than like what it's just like doing a fucking <laughs> voiceover yeah. album interlude about like the troubles and the trials and tribulations yeah. of having ADHD. How long was Joyner you know Lucas around that? before people realized that he was like super corny? Um, I think people with every level of new fame, I think people would be like, oh, shit, he's tackling real life subjects. And then you listen to a couple more yeah. things and you're like, oh, no, this sucks. He's the mo like still the most famous rapper from Massachusetts at the oh, moment. Oh, is he? For, well, he's I don't from, know who this uh, is. Western Springfield, Mass? Mass. Yeah. They know he was uh, from Massachusetts. Yeah. Does that change your mind about him? Yeah, come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Who is it? Like him? Billy's got all these Adams big rappers. And... Massachusetts just says Joyner Lucas. There's like a Western Marky Mass Mark. guy. Yeah, DJ Lucas. Have you seen that dude? Yeah, he has. I think he has a good pen. His, his, his pen is game good. is crazy. His voice is just ju it's tough. And when you find him, TJ, this dude is like Western Mass. He's like Western <laughs> Mass stand up, and he's always getting like 20,000 likes on his, his uh, Twitter videos just rapping about going to Duncan. Do you guys follow Little Mabu? Terminology. Yeah. Cousin Stiz is great. That token oh, yeah, guy Stiz is not good. Massachusetts. Token? Yeah. He raps fast. Yeah, people bro. like him, though. You must not get it. Kind of reminds me of you. Token? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Actually, I think but just, saying you hate someone and then they immediately say <laughs> that it reminds you of them? Just in terms of like maybe age and appearance. I think Token's way older Whoa. than me. Could be. I think he. There was like an article of him in like the newspaper when I was in. High school. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he Shit, must be okay. ancient. Bo Burnham. Bo Burnham. John Cena. That's Why are they all they, slain? They all look alike. <laughs> Sammy Adams. I was at a wedding with him. Uh, Buck Tyke Young. Fall. He's from Massachusetts. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> what the hell? That's not right. Keep Bedford, Bedford, Massachusetts. Okay, stand up. Bedford, let's go. Man, they have they got style out there. Are you guys big Bo Burnham fans? I like Bo Burnham. I like Bo Burnham. I like Bo Burnham. He was supposed to play Francis? Larry Bird. Well, I love him. Yeah. What happened? Was he, he supposed to play Larry Bird? I thought that I too. Thought he did. Yeah, yeah. Showtime. Because oh, he's tall cast, as fuck, isn't he? Yeah. he? He had to film something else, so they they had to find some other guy. Yeah, he's super tall. He's like 6'6 six, six or something. Yeah. What the hell? You good, Alice? Hmm? Good? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little tired because I ate a lot of those candy bars. What candy bars? No, I'm crashing. You want candy a little bars? Crazy. I, uh, I have a, you know me, I have a problem. Sweet tooth. I have a problem with uh, candy and sweets. Maybe it's your blood telling you you need more sugar or something like that. Maybe there's a physiological reason. Well, typically I'll opt for fruit if I can, but I need to have dessert as a way of finishing my meal. And here we've got all this candy and I can't stop myself. They do have some fruits, though. Apples and bananas. I've been eating a lot of those apples. I have been. I believe you. Amazon apples. <laughs> what? I feel like all the fruit that we have here is like coming from like Amazon. Dot com? Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't feel fresh. Like, it, I see no, them, no, it comes in in like It was 3D printed boxes. for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like they'll all of a sudden they'll just be unboxing like 7,000 oranges. Yeah, and they'll put some out and then they'll put the rest back in storage. Yeah. yeah. They've never been near a tree in their no. life. No. <laughs> we get, we get, we get uh, about six new cartons of oat milk per week. Yeah. And I know the woman who sets them into the refrigerator and I watch as she struggles to find new places for them because we don't even finish one. Yeah. So we have this surplus of them, and <laughs> it needs to be refrigerated. Because Meek Phil only drinks whole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't had a good glass of whole milk in a very long time. <laughs> you want to go get one? Maybe. 
perhaps. Phil has Two a glasses peg of, of milk, it. please. Have you ever seen that video? <laughs> You've never what seen that? that? What was that? <laughs> this guy on the plane in the flight attendant is going by and he goes, Two glasses of milk, yeah, please. Yeah, I have. And she's I like, have. What was that? And he goes, Two glasses of milk, <laughs> please. <laughs> And she's like, we don't have milk. And he goes, all right, I'll just do Diet Coke. <laughs> and she goes, Diet Coke's extra. And he goes, all right, fuck it, never mind. <laughs> Diet Coke's extra? Yeah, it's like a spirit flight. Sorry, but not, not all of us are in first. You don't, you don't fly spirit. Two glasses of milk, please. <laughs> Two glasses of milk, please. Two glasses of milk, please. We don't have milk, sir. Oh, just... Uh, we just have water, juices. All right, Diet Coke? Yeah, we have Diet Coke. I'll do one of those. Just one of those. Yeah. It's $4. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> that, was, that was great. That was an immediate response. <laughs> that, that guy's videos are so good, too, because he wears the uh, like the Snapchat glasses, so they have Wait, no idea that he's I think What is this guy's oh, really? name? Ooh. Stingrays. Salty Stingrays. Oh, he's always cutting people off. He'll like, just ask somebody for directions, <laughs> oh, yeah. and as soon as they start talking, <laughs> yeah. they'll be like, that's, that's enough. enough. That's, that's enough. enough. You're talking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we get it. We get yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing. You know, it's one of my favorite videos that I've been seeing a lot lately is the... Uh, the, there's like a the guy behind a student driver, and uh, I've seen as this. soon as soon as, as, it green, <laughs> as soon as it turns green, he's just hammering the horn. <laughs> and the captions just like lights not getting any greener, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two glasses of milk, please. <laughs> you know Infrabren? He does like the yes. same shit. He's, he's so funny. Funny as fuck. Well, tickle my pickle. Yeah. We're all in a stickle. Like he'll just <laughs> yeah drink something nasty, <laughs> a dolphin or something. And people are always uh, finds the people that just linger. But he, yeah, the people will give him, him the time of day. He like wears the glasses, goes up to random people in like his local Walmart, and they're always creatures of Walmart. And they'll always like he's disarming enough that they'll like kind of giggle with him yeah. for a little bit. His shit is he is so he is one of the best. Funny, he's a fucking yeah. He's and he hasn't like strayed. He doesn't try oh, to do he, other content. Yes. Wow. We gotta find some infra brand. We gotta infra throw some infra brand. He's fucking incredible. There's this guy on TikTok. He'll go up to people with walking their dog, and he'll make up a dog breed name, and then he'll just like walk onto work sites and like say he was sent there to like inspect. It. I'll find it for you. It's, you'll like him too. There's this kid that, that there's this like kid who's like young who's doing these videos where he gets in like art. Like he's kind of a dick, but he has some funny ones where he gets into like arguments with like security people at like malls. And then he gets like there. It's like a, he's like a child, and there's like a grown man, and he like he'll be like in the grown man's face, and he'll be like, "You're on thin fucking ice, buddy." <laughs> <laughs> and the security guy's like, "What? What are you gonna do? What?" And he's like, "You better watch your fucking mouth." <laughs> it's hilarious. But then I watched a lot of his other videos, and they're really bad. Oh damn it! Oh, oh my gosh, he's staring me down. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. That is one of the biggest, yes. baddest dogs I've ever seen. <laughs> Hi, buddy. What kind of dog is that? He's a golden doodle. Is he? Nice. He He's... loves asking, like, everyone to throw the ball for him. So oh, really? Yeah. Can I throw the ball for him real quick? Yeah. All right. Hey, buddy. Yeah. I got it. All right. Oh, good. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Oh, he loves it. He's good at that shit. <laughs> Dude, you're awesome. Man, I got a dog too. Yeah. It's a coconut corn husky, guys. Yeah, they're battle dogs. Yeah, we battle them down in Miami, Florida. Huh, buddy. Yeah. Johnny Hamchick. Oh, man. He's a ball addict. Get him. Get him. Come here. Yeah. This Don't, video is two minutes long. Huskies, they're banned in seven and a half states, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We battled them down in Miami, Florida. <laughs> battle. <laughs> it's a battle dog. Battle. Battle. Why are they banned from? They don't battle other dogs, man. Oh. They battle stray cats. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, like. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. Let me give you a good one here. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I can't watch this. Yeah. It's so uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. Like walk onto work sites and stuff. He has no shame. Oh, oh man, yeah, that's great. Some people are missing that gene. Yeah. And Donnie, you're a little He's bit close. like that. Yeah. I thought those new glasses could only record for like 30 seconds at a time, though, which is why I've not bought a pair. But I used time to, to buy that. some, Donnie. Yep. I used to have that yeah. pair in China, and it was yeah. great. They had no idea you were filming them. I wore one of those to go do the Scientology uh, thing. 
I did a I did a bunch oh, yes. of personality test. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, um and yeah. then they gave me the results and it was a woman and she was just the sweetest person alive and I felt so bad that I didn't put the video out. Those classes um, are hilarious. Yeah. I was using those shades in China. We were filming like a prank where you walk up and you ask them to um you ask people to play your flute in Chinese, but that's slang for give me a blowjob over there. Oh yeah. And then they're like mortified, but then you take out an actual flute. It was re- wait re- till Jackal gets it. Was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, Elevate. it was very yeah. late. Oh no. But then this one lady was like, Oh yeah, I know people who can play your flute. And so we follow her for like ten minutes and she takes us into this whorehouse. No. Where there's like twenty girls in bikinis and they all start like coming out of their little rooms and she's like one hundred R and B, which is fifteen bucks. She's like, they'll play your flute. And then we took out the actual flute in the middle of the whorehouse. And they're all like, oh, my God. Holy shit. Like, you were talking about an actual flute. And then um, just, like, brushed us out of the place. We put out that vid. And then the cops showed up at my friend's place and was like, you need to show us where that whorehouse is. That we need to get our dicks. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> wow. that's illegal. We have to get I, our dick sucked right now. I think we got that place shut down. So feel pretty bad about it. Way to that. go. Yeah. horse. Good job cleaning up the streets. I wonder what they would do. Just go to another place and suck dick. Yeah, I mean, a hundred R and B. That's <laughs> fucking steel. The, yeah, I can't believe steel. they're the <laughs> the currency is named R and B. Yeah, it stands for Rem and B. I don't know what What's that means. The B? Yeah, you didn't, you didn't <laughs> I don't know what that means. And then it's also called Yuan. I thought it was. R- r- oh no, Rem and B. There was a rapper in China. He put out a song oh, called thought- like Red Money. We got that red money. There was a Chinese rapper who used to drop the N word a lot. I was like, I don't, I don't think they have a pass. Right? No. Yeah. Who's checking them over there though? Remin B. People's currency. Interesting. He I needs to that, apologize. Like got that red money. You saw Kai Sinat. Uh, how do you say his last name? I feel like I was Sinat or Sinat. I don't Sinat. know. Sinat. Sinat. Kai Sinat was re- reacting to Fauci's video, and he's like, "I thought he was black," <laughs> 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 but he was also like, "I know a million Middle oh, Eastern R&B. bros in uh, New York that can say it whenever they want." That video was hilarious. Yeah. Fauci is he? Did you that? see? Uh, you see? You see? He did the twenty-four hour stream, and you could pay. Uh, he was trying to sleep. And you could pay to like have a bot say anything, and then they had a bot turn his Siri up to like volume ten, and it like blew his eardrums out. <laughs> That's hilarious. Fuck him. Fuck his fucking eardrums. Fuck it. WWE though. Ooh. WWE 2K23. You can play for free this weekend on Steam. Donnie needs his WWE character. Francis needs a WWE yep. character. Stop playing with my men. You can play on Steam from August 3rd to August 7th or on Xbox One or Series XS from the 3rd to the 6th. Also available on Xbox for Xbox Gold and Xbox Xbox Live Gold and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscribers. The Deluxe Edition will be on sale from the 2nd to the 16th on PlayStation 4 and 5. But... Really, you should just be locking into this game. Oh, my God. There's Donnie and there's Shohei. Oh, shit. Shohei's got the barrel belly. That's really well done of Donnie. That is the length that you wear your shorts. Exactly how I looked probably last year. Yeah. Since lost a little bit of weight. But, but yeah, I look yoked right there. Your biceps look incredible. I was just learning about long biceps versus short biceps, KB. Do you know? Yeah. What's the the difference between them? I'm sure the short ones look more pronounced. Or like mountain peaks. Who's the NBA player with the tiny uh, Tiny biceps? Yeah, he looks like like he'd be like 5'2". Desmond Bain? Everyone was making fun of him on Twitter last year. What was his name? Maybe Desmond Bain. It could be. Could be. He does. He is jacked up. He's all shoulders. Um, But he would be an incredible 2K23 uh, character. And once you're all playing 2K23 on Steam or on Xbox, you could take a screenshot of your character and submit it to the Yak via social platforms with the hashtag Barstool 2K Sweepstakes. The best submission will be receiving a custom WWE 2K slash Yak championship belt. 
And you know that that shit was game worn. You know that shit has the sweat and skin remnants of actual yakkers from the studio. Just a quick reminder, SummerSlam is this weekend, and WWE 2K23 is also free to play on Xbox and Steam all weekend. So here's everyone's chance to jump into the SummerSlam ring with your own superstar in WWE 2K23. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Have you guys been getting these Instagram ads for the mouth tape? No. For no. Sleeping? Oh, yeah. Beery uses I it. tried that for a while. How was it? Well, it's terrifying. It, dude, I was wake up in the middle so of the night and you think you've been kidnapped. Yeah. And you're being held. <laughs> I was I was trying to imagine like 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 bringing a girl home and being like, "Yo, can you tape me up tonight?" <laughs> like or just tape yourself like, up. Yeah, just turning around and you just have a fucking patch <laughs> over your face. What's the material of the tape? Can you breathe it's through like it? Sport tape or medical tape. You don't need special tape. You can use medical tape of some kind. So but it's w- so comfortable. It does force you to breathe out of your nose, which is what you're supposed to do when you sleep, obviously. I breathe out of my... I don't think I breathe out of my mouth when I'm sleeping. Oh, I do. I end up doing it. I do. If I do, I wake up with a sore throat. Like, I, I know when I do. You First tried thing. to sleep with... I did it for a while, and uh, I just kept waking up with nightmares that I was either, like, drowning Jesus or Christ. suffocating, and I couldn't handle it. Fuck anymore. that. Yeah, fuck that. So yeah. I stopped. Because it, you, you, you try... You're, I don't know. My body would try to take a breath out of my mouth, and I couldn't. And then all of a sudden, I'd I'd wake up and, you know, not I I hadn't breathed in a while. Yeah, I got a deviated septum, bro. This shit might kill me. Yeah, sucked. Yeah, that shit is terrifying. Dumb. I can't believe that there's that large of a population that just is on a CPAP machine. Yeah. That pe- that a massive part of the population is slipping into a Bane mask every night. They have to stay on their back, and they're linked to a machine just so they don't fucking die in their sleep. Yeah. Some woman I bet on, you they sleep so well, though. You think so? Yeah. Some woman on a plane, on the plane back from Chicago this past week, uh, she had I, I had put my bag up in the overhead next to hers very carefully and she asked me if i would flip it around because she thought it was touching her bag and she had a sleep machine in it and i said okay so i readjusted it and then when we got off the plane she asked me to take her bag down and i started to take it down and she goes gently gently i have a sleep machine in there you should have spiked it yeah Yeah. you don't get to direct the way that i help you with your bag I don't think. In fact, I'm ready to not do that anymore. Did I ever tell you about the time when I when I was when I there was this lady with like a child sitting next to me on the plane and like the whole flight I had to like be like picking shit up and stuff and then we were getting off the plane and she was like, Do you mind grabbing my back? And I was like, Yeah, of course. And there's like a massive suitcase, very heavy suitcase. And I'm like standing there and I'm like pulling the suitcase down, like struggling to get it down. And then I get down. And she's like, "Oh no, that's not my bag." <laughs> and she was like, "That's my bag." And she points, and it's literally just like an empty paper bag, with like one thing in it. And I was like, "Why did you just watch me take down this massive suitcase for ten minutes?" That's yeah, infuriating. I it's crazy. Think new mothers have had it too good for too long. We're coddling the women folk. Yeah, I think we're setting them back. New mothers you need to yeah. cut maternity leave by half. Historically depressed. Are they now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? That postpartum? Postpartum yeah. depression. It's real. Sass's hometown had, like, the most yeah, it was like a depressing fucking story of all time. Massive, like, murder. It was crazy. Tell us. Killed, like, all, it's not, like, a good story. It's okay. This was, like, very she, recent, too. She wow. had postmortem psychosis. Killed all of her kids and then killed the herself. husband. She sent the husband out to pick up food, and while he was gone, she um killed the three kids. Oh my god. Herself. I'm fuck. I wish So here it says on the prep sheet <laughs> yeah, Max of PMT says that. titty fucking is <laughs> overrated. <laughs> titty fucking is overrated and then the second bullet point is Jake says he's done it multiple times and oh, loves it. No. Oh. Imagine walking in on Jake titty fucking. <laughs> <laughs> is Ooh, there anyone sh- that has ever titty fucked and like started from like just a freshly hard dick and then just went from there titty fucking to completion? I don't know. I feel like titty fucking's got to be like a spur of the moment, like random two second thing, right? I mean, ask, let's get Jake on the line. Jake's a savant. He's a mountain climber. Yeah, that just blew my mind. I can't. I can't believe. I. I. I never wanted to picture Max or Jake titty fucking, but, yeah, but here I am, just thrust into that. 
Che, why do you say where do you stand on titty fucking? Like I'm above <laughs> my tiptoes. <laughs> <laughs> Typically, I kneel. Uh, Zara rubbing his hands together Wait, like Birdman. What is a titty fucker looking for? Soft, jiggly breasts or firm, harder breasts? I, is any of us? Are any of us a titty I, fucker? I know I'm not. Not a titty no. fucker. I've done it. No. I would say that it, the breasts are actually less important than the hand roof. Oh. The hand roof? You can hand yeah. with the roof. Yeah, you need the hand roof that holds the breasts together. Oh, to I thought you meant oh, yeah. the top. And then yeah. creates the, the tunnel top. There you go. With soft you can also with use soft two hands. Jiggly. There's a man who the likes soft to and jiggly breasts. Soft that, and jiggly. That, that, that with soft and jiggly. Yeah. That yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't want a hardworking woman. You don't want a calloused, uh, a calloused <laughs> roof <laughs> shaving yeah. the top of your member. Interesting. I need to know Jake Marsh's take on this. Is there a clip of Jake admitting you, this? You guys are all thinking, you're thinking about a woman who's just shoving her breasts together, yeah. and then that's enough. And that's typically, that's not enough. You need an interlock I'd, of the hands. I'm surprised they don't sell something like that. Biologically, how, like, do you, I don't know how, what's the most comfortable way to do it? Uh, well, there are, I've seen it where they'll do it. But I don't know anything about that. Yeah. I've never heard of that in real life. But then, you know, you just get up on there and then you do it. Like it's a, you're having intercourse with their breasts. And they love that. Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> I feel like yeah. you said absolutely nothing. I am <laughs> trying to say, talk about it as, uh, with as much of a gentlemanly flair as possible <laughs> sure okay yeah i feel like I'll, that I'll can't see. be fun for a girl right well it sure is <laughs> it sure is not <laughs> there's no way they, they love it they love it it's actually exactly yeah. the clitoris is low literally like if a girl was just like rubbing her vagina on your back <laughs> no no there's more than that <laughs> like, there can't be any enjoyment for them i think it's good seeing the mushroom slide up towards <laughs> their adam's apple and then whoa <laughs> 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 ultimately uh <laughs> plastering that with some caulk or sealant uh covering that up what if a girl just saw a guy with scoliosis and was like dying to ride his hump yeah <laughs> probably yeah young mantis <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a problem with women that have adam's apples a lot of them do in thailand by the way, can't a woman have an ap Adam's apple? It's just not as protrusive as a man's, typically. Politically correct uh, wise, yes, they can. I was terrified. Can I right about also, can I have a cock? You were terrified of what, the honey? <laughs> um, in Thailand, which is known to have a lot of lady boys, I've learned that some of them get their Adam's apple shaved down. Oh, the tracheal shave. So then the only thing you have to go off of is like, do their feet and hands look abnormally large? Oh, there's more. There's more ways to tell. A lot of times they, they do a good job. They just, more prominent you kind of just have to there look for large feet. They just, yeah. You all laughed and I knew. The best way to tell is if you try to get them pregnant over and over again. And <laughs> it won't take. I'd give away. They could be. You never know if they're a hyena. Oh, and you're right. Oh, yes. just, uh, confusing. Where are you going for your? Oh, where are you going for your honeymoon, Donnie? Uh, we're not going on one after the wedding because um, my fiance needs to start a new job in Chicago a few days after. But okay. maybe over winter break. I've always wanted to go to French Polynesia. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. How far is that? Pretty damn far. I think it's near. Is that Tahiti? I think you fly into Tahiti, and then they have like an island called Moria, and Bora Bora is around there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's just. Bora Bora chain. sounds awesome. Isn't that where Triple X said that he wanted? To yes. Go? Yes, it was. That's Bora Bora. That's how I learned about Bora Bora. <laughs> and it looked from, awesome because they met Diesel. at Bora Bora. He wasn't he like running yeah. a bike stand or some shit like that. Yeah, but. something like that. Bora Bora. There aren't too many places left for you to go, I feel like. Um, yeah, there's the... Peru. Uh, the, yeah, I haven't done a lot of South America. I haven't been to Australia, Antarctica. Mm. I'm trying to get an invite to Antarctica. I was talking to Michelangelo about that. Yeah. Tyler, the guy who invited me to Everest, was like, would you want to go to Antarctica in November? I Sounds don't, like I, you got one. 
Yeah, we'll see. I don't know if that's I, that's like, fucking. It, would you video. want to? Yeah, I don't know how much. What kind of video? Yeah, you would get there. It depends how many humans you have to interact with. I think that but you would find something for sure. Antarctica tourism, it's it's becoming bigger and bigger every year. Like this past winter here, it's their summer. I saw like a bunch of people just on these like cruises from Argentina to Antarctica. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, Your buddy Bo did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, someone, I forget who, someone I like grew up with did it. Not someone that I'm friends with, but they just posted on like, their Instagram. Not a buddy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Say you did it. It's the only reason to do stuff. The island of Mori is where Don the Beachcomber retired. Oh, me, he's one of the top. What's his? He what was he? the dude who brought like Polynesian tiki culture to the he U.S. Invented tiki culture. Yeah, well, he popularized. Br- yeah, he he brought it to the U.S. He fought in World War II, like in the South Pacific, and just like loved. He's like, we could make a bar Polynesian- out of bamboo. Yeah, and yeah. have some <laughs> rum. Get that shit really sticky. That's yeah. That we'll was his it. thought process, and then he opened up a place in Hollywood called Don the Beachcomber. His name was not Don. He just changed. His name was like Ernest something. And then he just changed his name to Don Beach <laughs> legally. And Changing your name to Don is a weird move. Yeah. 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 It's very <laughs> odd. <laughs> and then, yeah, he opened up like a successful chain of tiki restaurants. I think he invented the Mai Tai, maybe. He's still alive. Oh, wow. No. Oh. And then he, he retired on his houseboat in Moria. Hi. Sounds like the man. Yeah. yeah he does. Jimmy Buffett could never. Jimmy Buffett wishes he was fucking living like that. The original. Jimmy Buffett's the fucking man, too. Where's he, he living? Florida? I think he... Um, yeah, but he also has a place out in Montauk. I think oh. he like invited, invited Portnoy over one time. Wow. But just, yeah, being able to, like... He's the king of branding, I feel like. He's, like, yeah. to take your personal brand and then become a billionaire uh, yeah it's just making sweet ass songs about it yeah you think he actually drinks like that yeah or do you think he's fraud and like having a sex podcast but getting no dick yeah <laughs> we gotta start holding these girls accountable yeah <laughs> show me the dick then yeah <laughs> when was the last time you even got dick <laughs> <laughs> Talking about good dick too. Yeah, like, this is just the same story and over dude. and over again. It's not a hookup. Yeah. When was the last time you got good dick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> KB, do you think you'll leave the country in the next two years? No, oh, because I think he's a felon, doesn't have a passport. I'm starting to think that too, but we're going to, I guess, going to Canada soon with Dave. Mm. I have my uh, point. White Sox. It doesn't really right. count. Red Sox. Am but I part of that? Really? You might be. Oh, yeah. Dave yeah. called me. Yeah. yeah. He called me. Real he excited said, about he it. He said yeah. it was you, me, and there him. There it is. Yeah. He didn't tell him about me? Uh, he didn't he say did. anything about you. Hey, he called me. Yeah, no, us three, I think. All of us? I think so, as a foursome. I'd be surprised if that happens. Why? Windsor, Canada? That's yeah. A, I think that's what he wants to do. Scuzzy right. in Windsor? Mm-hmm. Let's go. I don't think that will count. Which is, I'm always impressed by your knowledge of geography. It seems like you... You're very like to you're very interested it. in the rest of the world. It's like you should you should go see some place. I should. Yeah, well. You don't have to though. You're like a a girl podcaster who gets no dick. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> need good dick. He's, he's the fucking geography poster. I never claim to like to geography. travel or do things. No. But I know it's always worth it. How do you know? It's like goodwill hunting. He's read all the books, but he's never seen it, man. No. Yeah, you've never licked the floor of the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what would be one like geographic? You've never thrown you paint on the Mona Lisa. Because <laughs> yeah, I I heard you even reference um, South China being like the uh, Guangdong, the the well, Pearl, Pearl River, River Delta, Delta being is like wildly populated. Yeah, you're probably the only. That, that's too crowded. I wouldn't. I don't think I would like that density. Yeah, where do you want to go? Yeah, Crete? That's... No. Um, so you don't want to go anywhere. Be Chile, Peru, um, definitely like at Australia, Pacay Papa, any of Peru, the, the islands in the Pacific. Okay, um, all right, that sounds nice. Japan's my number one. Japan, Korea. Why don't you go, Nick? I got things, man. No, you don't, dude. Just go to Japan. 
All right. Donnie, take him. Take me, Donnie. I want to go to. So what you do is you buy a Japan Rail Pass. And then it's like you just could, you get unlimited train rides for ten days. You can go wherever you want. Fantastic. What is that a euphemism for? Yeah. Limited train rides. What does that mean? No euphemism. Literal. <laughs> you know, literal. How you're good are the fun. trains over there? They're nice. They have little hoon carts where you can smoke cigarettes. They I got know. ladies <laughs> with carts uh, selling highballs. Highballs are huge in Japan. Whis- whiskey. Yeah, just whiskey sodas. But for some reason, no one makes a better whiskey soda than. Japan. They have, got, they have big whiskey flavored culture. ones. They've yeah. got yeah. Interesting. It is. I respect my Japanese brothers. I'm going to go with Francis and I his do. wife. That was the plan next summer. We were talking about that yesterday. The three of us. Yeah. <laughs> I have no qualms. Like, yeah, you'd be a solid third wheel. Yeah, one of them. Yeah. Would you know like what days to kind of do something on your own and yeah, I can pick up them? on that. Yeah. Francis oh, oh I think. Fuck. I think the two of them would end up hanging out more, and I'd Ooh. be the one that was off. We could alternate. Take a little her. white. And you and I go to the arcade. She does her. She fucks off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should do it. I want that for you all. Be fun. Yeah. I'd be down. I'd be down. Really want that for you. Jay, what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to uh, Metallica tonight and oh, nice. Sunday at MetLife. Oh, oh, twice? 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 It's a it's a two day event. So yeah, I'm going with uh, Greer tonight, and then uh, a buddy of mine. Greer just went to a concert last night. He just went to so, Tyler Childers. That's this okay. guy is ravenous for a good oh, time. You went to that? How was that? Where's Where's oh. Metallica? Oh yeah, you were there. MetLife. Is that your favorite oh, band, Jay? No, but it's my number one band I want to see. I've never seen them before. Okay. Uh, my, fa- my favorite band is probably the Chili Peppers for the Decemberists. Or, uh, so is it going to be Metallica playing both nights? Yeah. Hmm. Different Two different set lists, though. It's different set lists, yeah. I've really? never seen them. I heard they're great. Kate said they're incredible. I saw them at Bonnaroo quite some time ago. Good show? Pretty good show, yeah. What's, uh, what's the type of people that make up the crowd for Metallica? Badasses. I think Bunch like, of chase. I think like a hundred percent titty fuckers. <laughs> oh yeah. If I'm being honest. honest. <laughs> is it motorcyclists? Or titty fuckers. Is it you know yes, businessmen? Is it tortured? I think it's old rock boys? guys. Yeah. Used to be rock guys, like old guys that uh, or older guys that used to be really into that. Yeah. I'm always surprised at how many really corporate guys love the Grateful Dead. Yeah. Like okay. Corporate, like a VP of a bank who's 55 years old is like a diehard Grateful Dead guy. Big Cat. <laughs> Miles yeah. Teller. Miles Teller and Big Cat, mostly. Yeah. John Mayer. Or Titus. Miles Mintz. Titus is? Yeah. Titus is a deadhead? Yeah. I fucking knew I liked that guy. <laughs> knew there was something about that fucker. <laughs> Mince is more widespread panic. Yeah. This is bread and butter. I feel like I haven't been seeing enough of mince. I haven't I seen yeah, anything yeah, from mince. Been, what's been going on with him? A bit salty about that. Should we call him up? I wouldn't mind hearing his voice. Eh, I don't know. I texted but, him after the prank well, maybe a couple weeks ago. Like There was a lot of time in between. He was jolly, so I don't think it was. Yeah, probably like because that. he's just getting paid to fucking live his life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no stresses or even deliverables involved with his. He was in, he was in Vegas for like seven or eight weeks, oh. covering yeah, the, the World Series of Poker. <laughs> that sounds. Wait, wait, he was there for eight weeks. Yeah, because he was cut. He was working for like I don't know Poker Go or something like that. Eight weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a hundred. And then he was doing degrees. like a bunch of like he said he took like a break to go to like yeah. the Little League World Series or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I needed some time for myself. <laughs> clear my mind. I want to go mint sober. I feel like that's you'd have to start doing a perfect lot more drugs. <laughs> 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 I know, but I'd have to cut back on the booze, though. Oh yeah. Imagine him just like I still blaze. <laughs> being I on still blaze though. A rock in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, at the Little League World Series, unable to stand up because he's on so much acid. <laughs> Just like a six foot tall, like uh, Dominican boy having to help him up, <laughs> extend his hand. 
18 year old Dominican pretending to be 13. <laughs> I need mince uh, at like the home run derby in the outfield. <laughs> yeah. Year, yeah. Like knocking kids over trying to get balls. Oh my God. Yeah, we need to make that happen. Six balls. All of his friends from home were like very preppy though. Yeah. Which yeah. I guess you wouldn't expect. I've met friends of his all over the country. I've met people who are like, oh yeah, Barcelona, I know Ben Mintz. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. We were at a all bar over. and it was like a Ben Mintz convention. <laughs> Every single person was coming up to us being like, you guys know Ben Mintz? <laughs> Where was that? Uh, at Patty's. Where? <laughs> ben Mintz convention. New York. New York. Yeah, yeah, that oh yeah, that one. Yeah. It happened to me in LA and it happened to me in Austin too. And he's not from any of those places. No. It was like everyone in the bar was coming up to us being like, We love Ben. You've known him his whole life. <laughs> everyone at the bar. He was a frat king back in the day. Yeah? Yeah, he was in a a frat in M- Mississippi. And I guess he was like he was the class clown of the frat. Yeah. yeah. He was on the improv team for the Yeah the frat <laughs> he definitely was he definitely was like he he was the type of dude that would like chug a fifth of jack daniels and sleep for 20 hours yeah, yeah. Like oh, yeah he was like, check on mince and see if he's breathing <laughs> take the tape off his mouth and make sure that <laughs> yeah. he's on his side that was the funniest dude in college yeah I was yep. getting hazed by mince <laughs> yeah mince hazing you that would suck elbows on bottle caps yeah. he's got mints over you Elephant walking mints. Drink. <laughs> Squeal, piggy. <laughs> I think he was pretty large back then, so oh, yeah. he has lost a lot of weight. So Wait, he was bigger in college. Yeah, he was a. Bi- he claims he only stopped drinking to lose weight. To lose weight. He said he, but he said it was yeah. only because he was eating so much when drinking. It wasn't even from just the drinking. Yeah, he just well he said he would he would drink and then eat like a ridiculous amount of food. He also said that he was off sugar while having like yeah, sweet and true. sour barbecue sauce. Yeah. He said he was like doing what did he say he was doing keto? Like <laughs> having that sugar. I'm good. I'm having that sugar in weeks. As he's, he's like, licking an oversized shoot. spiral lollipop. Yeah. <laughs> with his spinner cap. <laughs> <laughs> Birthday hat. <laughs> just licking the powdered sugar off a of funnel cake. <laughs> he knows food though. Yeah, yeah. He took everywhere us, he took us yeah, in New Orleans. Great, was fucking a, amazing. He took us to a place to get breakfast sandwiches, and I only realized afterwards they they didn't have an egg in them. No, but they were so good. Got them like, every you day. Didn't oh. even notice. It was just like a hash brown, a sausage patty, um, like some, an English like, muffin, caramelized onions on a toasted English muffin. God damn! You got those every morning. Yeah, yeah. It made me realize so it was really good. You don't always need an egg. Some people don't like egg. There's more and more egg averse people as the older I get. I think I am. Eggiverse texture gets cold fast. Doesn't add too much. Damn. Sorry, dude. Love a good egg, but I have days where I'm like, if I even see an egg, I'll throw up right now. Yeah, it can be gross. The thought, the thought. If you think a little bit too much about an egg, it's a little bit unsettling. Disgusting. Yeah. I don't associate the product of a scrambled egg even with the egg. Like it transforms so much yeah. into something else—a different color, a different combination, different texture. I think scrambled eggs are disgusting. I like. I need like a sunny side up or something like that. You want to see the yolk running through? Yeah. You want to see the? I think that's carnage. much more disgusting than scrambled. I don't know the texture of scrambled. I don't like. I hate when people do like mass, like big vats of scrambled eggs. Where yeah. You oh. It's like spatty. add water. Yeah. It's powdery. That shit was oh. in college, dude. Yes. Yeah, people would do that. It was always nightmares. disgusting. And you just. Oh, I heard they're putting laxatives in the egg. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard they fucking put the la- that was a big Penn State rumor, but you'd probably have to like, you'd have to like that take too, yeah. the egg and like squeeze it against the side of the fucking ramp it up. Yeah, yeah. To, so it would like drain. Oh. It was just like you, I remember texting Orange my buddy and like the eggs are just <laughs> they're water today. Like, hurry quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, like the eggs are the <laughs> eggs are just watery, <laughs> leaky eggs. It was disgusting. Bo came riding. You just up on then the back you just have to throw back moose. fucking cereal or something. Cereal or sausages. Imagine yeah. if they actually were putting laxatives in. It was wasn't it? It's like a powdered based egg, right? Yeah, but just the the fact of like that everybody was like assuming that it was just evil like college administrators stirring in laxative to their food. Eggs aren't that expensive though. Like they can't splurge an extra like thousand dollars. They don't it's probably care just about how you. long they last. I guess yeah. Would you ever do a serious ass where you go back to college? Oh, no, definitely not. That's a good <laughs> I fucking feel like idea. That'd be great. Yeah, I'd watch that. 
Why do, yeah, and just it. have to like go to class. Yeah, it sounds terrible. <laughs> you would have to take at least one class. No, no live, way. Live in a dorm. Yeah, live yeah. in a dorm. No, I try. I tried to take a class after I like I left online and I just failed it. You got you got an F. I I don't know. I I, what I was I, a class. I don't even remember. I think it was a screenwriting class. Yeah, you do suck at that. <laughs> it's just boring. Yeah. Francis, I don't want to reduce you to your Harvard identity, but were the dining halls there significantly better than other dining halls you've heard of? I don't think so. I they, think uh, I think it's just hard to cook for, you know, 400 kids, three meals a day. Totally. I think UMass Amherst is supposed to have, like, really good, uh, known for, really yeah. good food. Odin in Maine has the best food yeah. of any college in the country. Really? It's I think it's... Organic. I heard it was UMass. Oh, you... <laughs> you... <laughs> Definitely have never oh, heard of Odin. a lot of people Odin. make that mistake. Odin. Yeah. A lot of make people make that mistake. I've heard UMass, and I've actually ate at their dining hall. And let me tell you, it was good. But have you been to Bowdoin? Bowdoin. <laughs> I don't think anyone's been to Bowdoin. No, it's a very small school. You wouldn't have been invited. Well, yeah, no shit. Was, no shit, the food was good. It was like a mom making breakfast for her children. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Homeschool. <laughs> yeah. It was sourced from yeah. a local farmer's market. Yeah. Better than Zoomass. No, UMass I, food was good. I gotta stay with Sass. I visited UMass in their cafeteria. It was outstanding. But you didn't go to Bowdoin. How do you know? Because you told me. That's a lie. <laughs> look it up. Just look up what what school is the best. Uh, UMass wins best dining like pretty regularly. Let's they, look they up. They brag about it often. Who's oh, got better yeah. food, Bowdoin or Zoomass? You guys should do neighborhood eats college campus. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be good. That'd be great. How was how was the um just traveling finals club food. terrible food Francis I'm sorry <laughs> how was the food at the, your tater tots? finals club because you guys had like a chef right yeah that was good that was good what was that so at Six Harvard years in a row they don't have frats they have finals clubs you were in a finals club yeah you ever seen what the Social that? Network you had like servants no no we had stewards <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh well, Social Network makes Harvard look like the number one party school on earth. They wouldn't. They wouldn't just do our bidding. Uh, they, I mean, w- the w- the one I was in, our the stewards like protected the club. With like, like what badgers? Uh, you know, when we would have parties, sometimes like p- people would just try to come in. Like the they EU would gremlins. No, like. Oh homeless people or you know <laughs> you, you just assume they were homeless yeah you can tell <laughs> <laughs> it's usually they're wearing a boston university sweatshirt <laughs> or or they people come and try to like rob the place we had we had fucking artifacts and shit and wow. crazy we had oh. like uh we had picassos what yeah, they were all donated by alums and they were we had these picasso plates that were hand painted by picasso and then we had a piece of hadrian's wall that was supposedly priceless. That was the centerpiece of the fireplace. God damn. Holy shit. It was cool. Imagine so, a homeless person getting their hands on Hadrian's wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> UMass. Like in their shopping cart. <laughs> yeah. Rumor Locking was the Italian the government had made repeated efforts to buy it and then put it in a museum, and we had just refused. That was the rumor. That's awesome. Did you I ever? Could, could you touch it, or was it behind glass yeah, you or You could something? touch it. Really? Could, did you ever touch it? I don't think so. Out of respect, but Did anyone ever fuck on it? No, it fuck was only it, it like was only like, like press that press big. Press it was it was, you know, you could fuck on it. Dude, give me a one inch, one square inch, I could fuck on Hadrian's it. wall. <laughs> <laughs> UMass Amherst number three, Bowden number twenty one. Okay, oh. I win. No, no. <laughs> this wins again. Twenty one. Dead on to right. It's number yeah. one. Um, How'd you not look? Virginia Tech. Oh, pew. I think these uh, ratings are very political. It gets very bureaucratic. That's what I was told. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. It's actually University of California, Los Angeles. Uh, UCLA. Virginia Tech. The hell? I'm looking this up. I'm going to go to my... Yeah, the, the real database. Not the Princeton Review. Here we go. Harvard review. This is U.S. News and World Report. This is the one that does the... Okay, there's one and two right there. I was on niche.com. Niche.com. Get the fuck out of here. Damn, Bowdoin 2. Bowdoin is 2. Dude, UMass Amherst? What's one? It says on this one, UMass Amherst. (laughs) What? We're looking at it right now. Yep. It's on the screen. Same website that you're on. Oh, that's not right. No, there is no number one. Oh, yeah? That's just the first 
bullshit page. Bowden's number one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Francis. <laughs> Wait, look at that screen real quick, though. Welcome new and returning students back <laughs> to campus in the fall. Bowden College has a longstanding tradition, given its location in New England, of having a lobster bake. Many people mistakenly think that UMass Amherst actually has superior food to Bowdoin. They are wrong. This has been misproven in case <laughs> after case. Proven. In yeah. fact, many wow. students that went to UMass Amherst have said they suffered from foodborne illnesses uh, as a result of poorly cooked meals in the dining hall. There's also like 40,000 people eating at those cafeterias. I'm sure one of them has gotten food poisoning. Well, it looks like Francis was right then. Yeah. What? Are, who is judging this? The FDA. No. Any list of all colleges is bullshit. This is like one dude went to UMass and was like, hmm, this is good. Fruits, herbs, and vegetables are grown in the Bowdoin Organic Garden. also good. While UMass Amherst (laughs) uses genetically modified uh, inorganic materials and has been found (laughs) to have sourced uh, chicken that is genetically modified and pumped full of hormones and grown on shelves. To Bowdoin? What? Kent, Kent UMass State. Amherst are not allowed it to. It says roam Kent free. State was for food. <laughs> yeah. Best university for food. Mm. What the fuck? I, Call see, ahead I haven't seen Bowdoin one on any list. Hendricks so College, James Madison. I don't mean. There's no. Kent, what is this list? St. John Fisher University, known for its turkey burger. Even lists where it's like these are the fifty nice. best party schools, and s- then St. Norbert, and then UMass Amherst. Like what nobody partied at the fifty best schools. Nobody has yeah, been to all of these 50, to compare yeah. them. Not and especially not like the neckbeard writer from Rolling Stone. Yeah. These guys don't even party. <laughs> <laughs> I think I rest my case here. It's different on every list. I haven't seen Bowden in the top twenty of most of these lists. We just had. I had it. U.S. News and World Report. I went to the number one a cappella school in the country. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking sucked. Yeah. I know you were at least in one. No, I was not. That's why I got zero pussy. All the a cappella kids <laughs> were just cleaning up. <laughs> All the a cappella boys. Like, the it's crum- 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 it's crum- perfect must crum- drive you crum- nuts. The QB was probably not even getting pussy. They were like, you, the football team. But <laughs> oh no, but this guy's on an a cappella team. I'm going to suck his dick. <laughs> Demoralizing. Ba-dum, dum, dum. Long Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> doop, doop, doop. <laughs> you know that the Asian bros were always incredible at acapella. Were they, they slide what? to the front. Any acapella video, I guarantee one of the soloists is Asian. Yeah, that was true. Boy, the the one the top one at at school, the top group we had. They would do a seven continent tour every summer. They were in yeah. Arctic. When they arrived, Why wouldn't they just say world? <laughs> That's a good question. You could say world about anything. You could go to like Mexico and be like, this is a world tour. We yeah, could bang could. out an acapella of like for the longest time. Yeah, we could. Ooh, yeah, we could definitely do Sparky. <laughs> Sparky for the, the longest time. time. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Who's the baritone? <laughs> If you if you said goodbye to me tonight. Wimbo up a wimbo up a wimbo up a wimbo up a in the jungle. Nope. No. Nope. I can't. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The acapella team was also on TV because they were on a reality show about. Oh, the the one that one the acapella. What's that? What's that? What's called? Yeah, I, I think they won. Like what? As a junior, I thought it was the Pentatonics who won. I thought Bowden. It was won the Yelzebubs. <laughs> uh, my list says Bowden won. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I think you're. Yeah, that's what Dude, it is. You're my, mixing up with the acapella team. No, the Dartmouth team was good on that show. Dude, our sure acapella teams would have smoked Harvard. Buddy Bowden. No way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the Harvard squad? Crocodillos was the best. Ew. And the yeah. Din and Tonics were the next. Oh. Uh, the Beelzebubs would have murdered you guys. No chance. Ew. No chance. And I'm, this is a, I'll, to, to prove that I'm being honest here, uh, the best a cappella group in the entire country is at Yale. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The gay pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are the gay pussies. <laughs> if you said goodbye to me tonight. <laughs> uh, 
Mom, I made the gay pussies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there they are. Look the as above. Oh, it's know? the same show, so different seasons. Uh, you had They came in second. Okay. And the Pentatonics won the season I was talking about, and Dartmouth came in second. Northwestern has a good one. <laughs> The Rovels? Oh Rovels? my god. The Whiff and Poofs is what the <laughs> Oh yes. Oh, Whiff and Poofs of Yale are yep. I think top dogs. They fucking this like is top so, dogs. That's a direction. They play like in the Oval Office. Like in, they're incredible. <laughs> yeah. Dude. That's a real thing. I know a guy who is in them. A Whiff yeah. and Poof? Yeah. Whiff and poof. <laughs> yeah. How did he say it felt? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what are they saying? Like, who is in them? All of them? Every single one. Mm. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Damn. Do they have like a pack of girls? What do they what do they call them? Oh, uh, they have all women. Uh, yes. No, I meant do they have like? Yeah, like who are the girls that follow the acapella yeah. teams? Oh, groupies. Yeah. I don't know. I do know that Acapoons. when the crocodiles would stop step off the plane for that seven continent tour in Korea, they would have a massive peak group of people waiting for them at the airport. It is cool. I will say that. <laughs> Until everybody started making treble puns to... Yeah. The cleft... Uh, it's not cool. I'll disagree. Yeah. yeah. It does sound good, though. They are good at singing. But the And the crowd goes yeah. fucking nuts for them. Yeah. Like in the videos you'll watch in when they're doing like a showcase in a stadium at a college, the crowd is losing mm. their shit. And it's all women. And someone steps forward because it's their turn to solo and everyone's like, this fucking guy. Yes, and it's an Asian yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah, the Asian dude with the perfectly coiffed set of hairs. If you like a line, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I would be the baritone. In the girls' group, it drives me altos. crazy when uh, when a girl is beatboxing. A short-haired girl is like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit drives me up a fucking wall. <laughs> Never sounds good. No. Especially the beatboxing. If it was Rozelle, maybe I'd enjoy it. If you had only stayed at college, Sass, you could have been in an a cappella group no. instead of on the yak. If you went back to college and you just like played your, the rest of your life straight, when you were considering going back early on in Barstool and just joined a cappella. <laughs> Wait, what? You know how you were going to go back to college at one point in Barstool? Yeah. If you had just gone back and were like, yeah, I'm not joking anymore. Oh, oh yeah. That's what I would have had to do. I'm going to give up all yeah. jokes. Change my major to, like, math. <laughs> and sing a cappella. Yeah. You were majoring in jokes. <laughs> yeah. Just do math now. Does every college have an a cappella group? I'm sure. Big time. Kent State? Did they have a cappella groups? Yeah, I'm sure. Look it up right now. Kent State Acapella. I bet they fucking They've do a Bruno sock. Mars medley. <laughs> <laughs> they all they do, did. yeah. <laughs> I think they fucking did that. <laughs> I remember they were downtown, like, dancing and singing the... Um, <laughs> Grenade? Uptown funk. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hated it. Stop. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Vocal Puffs. intensity acapella. Tufts has a. I'd love, I just want to be the dude who breaks through. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and yes, it I is do. like pitch perfect. God damn. I, would, uh, I wouldn't mind watching an acapella performance right now. Yeah. I want to see Ken. Uh, uh, do the whip and poofs. Thunk cappella like a river is my favorite. Whip and poofs. Shut like your river. river. me like a river. <laughs> like a river. <laughs> the best one. Yeah. Yeah, I think they, they. I'm sure that some of them have gone co-ed over the over the oh, years. Yeah. There are some. But that's Tufts has one that's Disney themed called Enchanted. We are Tufts most magical acapella group. Okay. And then they have like the most diverse acapella group. <laughs> they have culture, but Tufts yeah. must have had a very good music program because of those the two Time Flies guys, your buddies, came out of that. Yes, but they were. Um, they didn't want to join an acapella group because they were like later in life. It um, were, were they it studying career music? suicide? Were they studying music at Tufts? They weren't really. They were really? just like naturally musically talented. I would have thought the producer guy would have maybe done some like engineering stuff there. The producer was an engineer. He was like in the engineering school. What type of engine? Like sound engineering or real engineering? I think he was trying to major in real engineering. Yeah. Then was like, no, it's a lot. A lot more fun just making beats. Yeah. 
significantly more fun. Shut yeah. your mouth. Sure. We had a Jewish acapella group. Oh, like Kent Clark's. Clark's. Oh, like Clark Kent. Fuck yes. That's wow. Cool. I just had sex. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, hey, co-ed. Yeah, this is a they good. always have a vest and like a Jerry Springer <laughs> shirt. Slap. That's their whole audience. <laughs> Thank you for coming out tonight. Uh, that's an all glass room with a hundred foot ceilings. The acoustics you want for acapella. Oh, so- and look, the Asian bro. What did I say? Oh. To you? <laughs> what the fuck right did out. I say? You slid right out. <laughs> Censored the word penis. <laughs> Beatboxer always dancing a little bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like this. I can't not even watch this. No, it's good. They had, can we? They had another one where they were like at like a theater. I mean, it's corny, but it sounds good. Yeah, that one. Uh, this is what they all look like. The acoustic type of theater. Be great. Oh, they're doing it again. (laughs) (laughs) Their most popular track. People laugh their asses off. (laughs) See? You know what's crazy is I bet all these people are actually freaks. Oh, yeah. yeah. They always are. The Disney Disney ones at Tufts, I bet those were the freakiest human beings alive. (laughs) <laughs> Wait, so uh, th- it's a different soloist than last time, which means that it got passed on yeah. from like one year to the next. Generation. Like, hey, who's yeah. going to have the I just had sex <laughs> solo? <laughs> I think John's ready for the I just had sex solo. Hey, John, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> calls his family. Like, You're never going to believe it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a, what, what's another oh song that they have other than I Just Had Sex? Oh, yeah, 2015. Pumped Up Kicks. That's got to be a fun one. Yeah. Yeah, that's Ooh, pretty what is, bad for Kent State to be singing. <laughs> <laughs> they got another Michael, I Just Had Sex Michael right Jackson there. Medley? No. It's their signature song. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I Just back. Had Let's do I Want You Back. <laughs> so good. Have you ever had sex? <laughs> <laughs> I know I have. So, so this is for the camera. They're just having a normal convo. Seven. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. You really got to get into the groove. When I had you I love myself. <laughs> all the shallow bees. Yeah. <laughs> all of Real them. shallow bees. My boy on the right is, or the far left is. Far left. Like, like, it's like he got a deeper V than the rest of them. <laughs> he did. He fucked him on the V. <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> oh, the guy on the right fucks the most in the crew with the glasses. You think so? Who else? Who else you think? Or you think guy on the left? This is probably like a pack of lions, the way that they decide who's, whoever's the dominant male, whoever is having the most sex. Yeah. I think it's like a cult. Like I think those two are fucking everybody. Yeah. I, if I just saw you in the background, <laughs> I would piss myself. <laughs> It was great. Man. Oh, darling, I was blind. <laughs> they weren't that good. They weren't. No. That, they weren't that good. <laughs> they weren't that good. Yeah. Kind of underwhelming. Yeah. Let's watch the. Let's watch the Yale guys. Let's the watch the fu- whiff and poofs. The whiff and poofs. Because if their name is so they, bad, they, they play Carnegie Hall. They play the white. You know, they're not. Yeah, let me see a good one. Ivy League bros that are doing it because any of the guys who are getting into an Ivy League school, this has to be one of their eight extracurriculars. Yeah, yeah, needed a true. musical, even yeah, see, camera even, quality, yeah. uh, f- 4K. Let's hear them do. I just had sex. <laughs> Compare. They sound like Bocelli. 
Oh, my God. <laughs> skinny Love, that's a great song. Oh, Skinny Love, yeah. Yeah, do Skinny Love. Come on. <laughs> Even they're pacing. They wear tuxedos and tails. These guys. Are they holding a Mickey Mouse severed gloves. head? What is no, that? What do they do with the Mickey Mouse head? Long arms, long legs, we'll small head. <laughs> Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five in. I went to high school with him. That's Sharif. <laughs> that is that is Sharif. That's my bully, Holy Sharif. Fuck. Yeah, I had biology with him. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that actually him? Yeah, I think that's Sharif. I think he did go to you. My, my, my. I want to fight all of these dudes at the same What? Time. I hate them. No. My, my, my. This is a great song. <laughs> I don't like the gloves. It feels like a cult. I like this. It is a cult. It is a cult. Really sweet. It's really nice music. Sounds good. Should have stayed in college, so. I know. It's going to be me. <laughs> what is this the dude is bending at his knees. The Mickey Mouse holding dude. He's generating power from the base. What nationality is Sharif? Egyptian, I think. Sharif Hussein. Even, um, it yeah, may be. Middle Eastern? Yeah. Another wheeling boy, dude. Here we go. The audition process for the uh, Whiffin' Boots is crazy. And I think it's only seniors. So guys spend like the first three years at Yale trying to position themselves to get in. And each year there's only, like, depending on your voice part, there's only two bass parts available. Like three tenors, four sopranos, whatever, altos or whatever, and uh, if you don't get it, you know that's it, and you wasted your entire yeah. undergraduate tenure building up. Let's play it. Bon Iver. I'm with you, Sass. I can't. I need a song with a little bit more. Do the thought. like a river, thunk capella. Yeah, get the thunk capella like a river. That's that good shit. If it's really what turned out, Kyle. Francis, do you um, donate to Harvard? No, I don't. How do they get by? And I'm actually glad I never did because uh, the Supreme Court just, I think, ruled against like legacy advantage or something like that. Yeah, they said legacy advantage is like affirmative action for the top 1%. Yeah, it had something to do with that. And it was like, we're not going to now consider legacy. And I think there was a correlation between that and people who were donating and i know that friends of mine have donated every year since graduation because they felt that to have a perfect record of donating annually would give their kids someday an advantage of mm -hmm. getting in and that always worried me because i never gave anything and now it feels like they all just wasted their money but there's like a, a counter argument that People like at a HBCU who maybe felt like their entire life they had a leg down in some of these processes finally get into a college and then they want their kids to have like some of the advantages that they're trying to sow into their life and now their opportunity to get that advantage is taken away immediately. Yeah, and I think that all these colleges have found ways to work around the language of the Supreme Court ruling so that they can still acknowledge either like legacy connections or diversity in their admissions uh, considerations. So Princeton has like a crazy high like alumni support percentage. Yeah. Yeah. They love it. They like they go back every year to their reunion. Yeah. They and they're in down like, they're one year, two year, three year, five year. P rate is like it takes over the entire like central Jersey area. Yeah. My mom can't get a hotel anywhere 50th near fiftieth anniversary there. It's their awesome. Fiftieth uh, reunion at Princeton. They have like a parade. You just see like these super old guys in like these crazy cool jackets that they do for all the alumni walking down uh, Nassau. And they all like really admire the people that came before them yeah. and they honor them. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Go to Hoagie Haven, get a sandwich. All right. All right, all right, I hear you. Penn State do anything like that? Yeah, we all march down uh, Paternoville and laud our savior, <laughs> our unblemished saint, who Love actually you, coach. <laughs> never did anything wrong in his life. He he reported what he knew. Okay. Boy, this is a slippery yeah. slope. Like the showers. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Just waiting for that. <laughs> Showers built on a hill. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. 
Do you go back to WVU at all? Um, no. This is featuring the freshman 15. They're in the bowling suits. They're having so much fun. What school is this? Northwestern. Maybe Pup Punk could do a, a couple a cappella tracks at the next show. I don't know if people want to hear that. You guys are performing at uh, Dave's Pizza Festival, the One Bite Festival, are you not? Yes. Yes, we are going to do Rock Me Like a River at the... Oh, my God. We got six shows coming up. And they're going to be six shows. Yeah, PFT was saying you guys have a packed schedule for the fall. To like... Between like now and October 13th, we have six shows. Oh my. And you guys haven't really practiced? like. That's, that's correct. Everybody lives in different states now. Yeah, that's tough. Zoom practice session. Plus the studio is all booked. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking brutal. But I think PFT is getting like a full recording studio out I in Chicago. That. Yeah. Yeah, he wants that. The rest of us still are out here in New York, but, you know. I mean, you guys, you don't need much for a recording studio. Yeah. Like a little box with some sound. Bands historically did it out of their car holes, out of their garages. Yeah. So I don't think it could be that hard. Well, now that Francis is gone, should we um, end the show? Spin the wheel. Oh, fuck, we got to spin the wheel. If he leaves and if he leaves early, then he cannot get any carbone with us. No. Yeah. What did Francis leave? Yeah. Why? Wedding. We said something very nasty. We said a naughty word to him. We said a <laughs> no. slur for people who went to Harvard. Yeah. Crimsies. Crimsies. <laughs> <laughs> I love the woo at the end of that every time. It just makes me just makes me feel good. I want us all to um be photographed in front of like a uh, be a PNG like with transparent background and upload us for free on a free stock image website. See where we end up. Is that a possibility? Like a flat Stanley type of deal someone could take us to the uh you know, No, no, no. Great like, Wall of China. If somebody wants to get like a stock image for like uh some sort of Shampoo, yeah, yeah, or a pamphlet. They could go to the site and just pick one of us, just in a textbook. Yeah. yeah, free rights, free usage. Yeah, free usage photos. Put ourselves in the public domain. Backgrounds, yeah. See where we end up. Doesn't Hollywood isn't Hollywood like trying to do that with anybody who is an extra in a movie? They want to be able to use them in perpetuity in the public domain. Yeah, that's so nuts. What side are you guys on in the writer strike? Touchy subject. I side with the writers. I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I haven't really l- looked into their their qualms. <laughs> We're walking it back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, they're just mad because if they write for something and then if it like then blows up on Netflix, like a couple years later, they see like zero revenue from that. Not rooting for either. I just hope it's an entertaining game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just want to see a high-scoring Watch scoring. the commercials. I want to see like the Chiefs, you know, Chiefs Rams game of a couple years ago. I want to see like a fifty-five forty-nine game. Yeah. I feel like this is a big moment for podcasters because podcasters aren't on strike, right? So if there's going to be like a glut of content, it's kind of it's, it's your guys' time to shine. Yeah. It's a good time. It's a good uh, landing spot for the lazy and talentless. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. podcasting. We're not writing at all. <laughs> it's actually a badge of honor. <laughs> you didn't prepare at all. <laughs> yeah. That's just actually how good we are at this is we don't do anything to prepare or make it good. No, it just shows how much uh, harder or just how much more work intensive it is, Donnie, for you to make your videos. Uh, just the, the depth of uh, editing and going over footage and 
technical work that it takes to make some shit like that good and successful. Yeah. A tip yeah. of the cap to you, my good man. My boy. Thank you. My, my, my. <laughs> my, 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 my. Oh my God, you're a gay pussy. <laughs> Wait, you're, are you? Where do I know you from? The gay hey. pussies. <laughs> What's Yale. that song? Maggie May. That's, uh, you guys know that? Yeah. Yeah. Good song. The acapella Odd Stewart. team used to do that a lot. How's it go, Maggie May? Wake up, Maggie. <laughs> Wake up, Maggie. I think I... That one. There's something to say to you. That's one of the one of the funniest Always Sunny episodes is when Frank is talking about how he's in a gang and they get the gang back together and it's just him and a, and a bunch of dudes wearing like top hats and leather suits and they're just singing. <laughs> <laughs> and and the whole time everyone's like, "You were in a gang?" It's like, "Of course." <laughs> Oh man, broccoli Rob too. That's a good uh, running acapella bit. Yeah, that was the, that was him. Yeah, broccoli Rob, right? No, that was in uh, 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 the office. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh, Andy, yeah, Ed Helms. Ed Helms, old Ed Helms. Fucking miss his ass. He changed so much. I know. With with the fucking money. You know, he's in Montauk, Epstein's Island and shit. Um. So be sure to watch the boys on Marash's stream tonight. Big Tings. Big Tings up and in. It's a yeah, Marash and uh, Nick KB. Don, who else? Mook. And Mook. Combination. Mook and Hater. Mook and Hater. <laughs> Mook and Hater. They're, let's just say the boys will be downing some whole milk. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, let's just say of they'll those. be. And high noons. At high noon, so they'll be covered in the best substance. Maybe Bukimamba. a little WWE 2K23 on there. Uh, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah. Combination. Maybe a little rowback as well. Who knows? Yeah, if I want to be comfortable voice. as fuck. <laughs> robot. Uh, yeah, but if I want to be uncomfortable as fuck, <laughs> I'd wear other things. Feel that shit, brother. I feel that shit, brother. So we're yakking again next week. I'm going to be out for part of the week. I have to go to. Um, They're going to be out, brother. On Tuesday. You guys are Tuesday move till when? We're, we're, we're doing. What is moving next week? No, the move has begun. Oh, are you yeah, guys? We got Yak uh, in Chicago bowling? Tuesday oh, okay. and Wednesday. Thursday. I mean, Thursday and Thursday and Thursday and okay, Friday, I'm, I believe as no, well. Not Friday. Not Friday. Friday no. Oh. Oh, I'm out Thursday, Friday. I'm gonna be in Philly with the Mookinator. Yeah, I'm out. Be the Mookinator. Tuesday, Wednesday, Gardini. Thursday, Friday. Just maybe bring just in the thunder at Philly. There's gonna be a yeah. wake of fucked pussy behind oh. you. <laughs> Have you guys That's how I find Mook. I fu it's like my breadcrumbs. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel. Mook's <laughs> angels. <laughs> Mook rolls with a pack of angels. It's crazy. Yeah. Have you guys bowled since that son of a boy dad anus show up in no, Boston? No, I haven't. Oh, no, it's the last time. Where you guys didn't put me on the list and I wasn't allowed in. Oh, yeah. 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 It was yeah. the most demoralizing moment of my life. I yeah. Think. I was like, I work with these guys. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm on the list. And they're like, yeah, we can't yeah. let you in. Dude, when I, I went back, it. when I went back there in yeah. uh, in January, or I don't know if it was January or February when I was there, and they were like, uh, I was like, I'll just, can I just get a Bud Light? And they were like, yeah, can we see your ID? And they ID'd everyone. And I was like, I was like, since when do you guys ID people in the green room? And they're like, since the last time that you were here. <laughs> and you were hammered on stage and you were 19 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, now we have to ID everyone. <laughs> Fuck them. You didn't hide it well. No. <laughs> But they, I mean, yeah, whatever. Yeah, those Bud Lights will creep up on you. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Still drinking Bud Lights? Wow. Nah, it's funny when people go in somewhere and they're like, "Yeah, I'm, d I'm doing it. I'm drinking Bud Lights. Sorry, but not sorry." Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. Rogan said that he still drinks Bud Light, and everyone was like, "They paid him to say this." Yeah. Well, it's Meanwhile, funny. A lot of people switch. Switched... Factory employees are getting fired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing my part. <laughs> Modelo sales went way up after that controversy, but they are also owned by Anheuser Busch. Yeah, I don't think you can go from drinking I felt, yeah. Bud Light to Modelo. I know someone who is Bud, like Modelo is a way heavier beer than Bud Light. Is it? I think I, they do like a light Modelo. Maybe do they? I know a Modelo is like uh, it's like one forty calories, I think, and a Bud Light's like a hundred. Mm. Jeez, it's a pretty big jump. Big jump. It's a fifty percent jump, almost damn yeah. near. 40%, I guess. Yeah. You know who the original acapellas were? The groups of troubadours that would walk around like, cabron, cabron. 
walking around with a fucking guitar and like maybe a horn or some shit like that. That ain't acapella, brother. Fuck, you're right. That's mariachi. Big old loot. Mariachi, yeah. Mariachi bands. Those dudes are fucking legends. My buddy Bo is um friends with. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, shut the fuck up. Friends with. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> He's his name's not Bo, but I, my buddy knows someone in the Anheuser Busch family, and um he is very pissed about what went down. Yeah. Because like he has like a boat, and it's like a Bud Light branded boat, and like he said they took it to a fishing tournament, and people like trashed his Booed boat. Them. <laughs> Yeah, we're like yeah. booing the boat, and he's like, "I had nothing to do with that." Damn, oh, fuck! My heart goes out to a member of the Anheuser Busch family. family. Yeah, generationally wealthy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's never. We'll get through it. Oh, Bush. Bush, <laughs> Bush. Bush. <laughs> Bo Bush. Um, fun week of yakking, guys. That was fun. One for the fucking books. One for the fucking books, dude. Just legendary shit all across the fucking board. Next week will truly be legendary as well. And then the week after that, we're also going to be yakking all fucking week. Yeah. Then the week after that is when the Barstool Awards are and everybody comes back for uh, all kinds case of race. Special episodes, yeah. Case race? All kinds of goofy shit. And then there's a week off at the end of September. The fuck? And then we are jobless. And me and ass are going <laughs> to be you have, that, you have that popular podcast with the NBA player, right? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we'll be good. We'll be, uh, good. <laughs> we'll be all set. Ah, uh, uh, we'll land on your feet. You guys again. want to uh, oh. watch a race before the weekend? Yep. Let's sneak another race in. Of course, let's sneak another race in. Could we crack a high noon, or is that thing locked? Let's crack. Let's crack noon. Uh, what's our what's our numbers? Okay. Should we just go in order? I don't know. Or There's a riot in Manhattan right now. Oh, sweet. Which, where? Uh, Union Square Park. Oh, over shit, over really? what? NYPD called a level three mobilization. Is it SAG? I don't know. <laughs> it's SAG. Union Square is always going up. Uh, give me horse number one. I know how the, I know this whole take, song and dance. Take three. That's eight. That's <laughs> you get eight. All right. Why is white Lizzo trending on Twitter right now? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's going though. Eh. Let's see. Right here, does he stay on his feet? Yeah. Ah! Oh! Eight. Sorry, sassy. <laughs> seven horse race. That zebra looks so fucking delicious. Oh, apparently, it's that Kai Senate dude is in Union Square. Oh, he's starting a riot. Okay. Then weren't we just talking about him? Yes. <laughs> I think I need to be drunk off sake for this. Yeah, it doesn't hit the same when you're dead sober. Oh, oh, that's a cheat. Oh, that's a cheat code. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of the way! Oh, no, 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 no. Three guys, go, go. Oh, it's one. Oh, no. what happens? Wait, he's stopping. He's grazing. Holy. Is everyone else? Where's everybody else? Yeah. Eight, eight might be in the mix. Eight! Oh, oh, eight, one! Eight, one! Oh, eight, one! What the fuck? Wait, did they win or why are they still sprinting? Oh, it is three people. You guys heard about the uh, Somalian sprinter? No. No? I have. Oh, there oh, was some have joke? No, there was the the World University Games, and like the head of the Somalian sport department sent his niece to compete just because like he Whoa. he wanted to do his family a solid, and she was like insanely slow. Can we pull that. And up? that he has now been fired because they're like, you just <laughs> sent your niece to compete in the World University Games. Like she could barely run. If you pull it up, she all like she gets lapped. And then, um, She's lapped? yeah, and so uh, Somalia was forced to fire their sports chief. Sure, that Damn. was pleasant for nepotism. <laughs> yeah, but Damn. that's kind of a baller move, just like yeah, sending your family member. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's not fast. <laughs> <laughs> she got lapped on a straight line race. <laughs> yeah. I mean, second to last isn't fast at all either. 
Jack, yeah, Jack that, Mack did a TikTok on this, and they're accusing him of being like a government plant to like disgrace the Somali government. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> they're saying you took money from Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Sets the record. This, this is, is propaganda, propaganda by CBB and NN. The competition never happened. I blame former president Faramajo and Fayad Yassin. Fahad Yassin. Who funded the ca- <laughs> the cat and guy using guitar money to make this video? Anybody who share the scandal is Al Shabab sympathizer. Wow, I agree. <laughs> wow, Jack Max and Al Shabab sympathizer. Yeah, I could see. That. Yikes! Rough. He told me that a while ago. Yeah. Holy shit! This office, fucking unbelievable. That's why we need Gazzo back around here to the fucking straw that stirs the drink. Who's that guy? Gaz? That's Gino. No. That's Gino. Gino. Oh, he's a good guy. He's the kind of guy that... Oh, look at that lounge. That was a textbook yeah. lounge. He plays plays catch, too. He's going to bring the old bar stool back, playing catch, lounging. It's not like everybody now is playing video games and lounging. It's going to be catch and lounging. Francesca's grandkid works here, right? <laughs> Are we... I don't know. No. I don't know. No. Am, am I not allowed to say that? Is that, I don't think. Is that top secret? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Whoopsie. TJ, safe mode? Uh, I think that's fine. Yeah. I don't, oh. oh. It's just kid, not his grandkid. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I think yeah, it's so you're not son. Right. Yeah, so, so that's what everybody was recoiling about. Yeah, just that the facts was wrong, were wrong. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we fucking love facts here. And Nate figures. tweeted... Barstool Radio was so beneficial for holding people accountable. We don't have that anymore. We are a daycare. Oh, my yeah. God. When did Big Nate say that? I guess a couple who hours is, Who ago. is in trouble? Who should be in trouble? I think in, every, in Nate's eyes, everyone. I don't know. Nate texted me this morning and said, are we boozing on the yak today? And I said, I am not sa- sad face. And he said, oh, damn, miss yucking it up with the fellas. I think he wanted a widow time in daycare. <laughs> <laughs> I think Nate wanted to play a little bit with his friends. Be, getting daycare sounds awesome. Yeah, do I think Nate's like ready to be unleashed. Adult day, yeah, I feel like if Sass doesn't find something else to take up his time after the yak moves, Nate's gonna be on your ass. Hundred percent. Nate <laughs> hates me. is going to be. <laughs> Nate is on your ass. Nate's been on my ass for three years. <laughs> like since the day I walked in the building, he's despised me. But that's only because of your I mean, pulse. I think you just, yeah. I've literally never even Hash thought it about out with him right now. Pretend I'm Nate. Just, uh, no, I don't. I don't hate you. I think just I think you're very I think when talented. You, when you came in, like Nate expected a, oh, hello, Nate, and you just, I don't think you ever like acknowledged. It is custom to existence. suck off Nate, and you <laughs> bucked the trends of barstool. Yeah, I I mean, cosplay it with KB. There's not really much to say. I don't. He have says anything. I don't. I have no negative. I don't hate you, man. I think you're very talented. I just don't know if you support us. You got to respect the OGs. I don't know what I would say. Just be like, Nate, I appreciate all of the work you've been doing. Realistically, what would happen is I would have my headphones in. He would say, you don't do anything. I hate you. And then I would go, oh. <laughs> I would turn and I would go back to being on my phone. <laughs> like that's like, That's what would happen. Yeah. I think you guys have a beautiful relationship. I like Nate. I don't know why he doesn't. Ha- I don't know why he hates me. I don't hate you. <laughs> so he's saying he doesn't hate you. I mean, why don't you internalize that? But I think he would even admit that he hates me. Well, maybe you he, just. Uh, he sees your potential. He bo- he gave birth to you, and if it weren't for the hard work that he put in in the mines writing blogs, you wouldn't have a job or life or existence. You would be in an acapella group. Yeah, probably the gay pussies. <laughs> Do, 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 do. On Broadway. I think of that song every time I ride my bike down Broadway. Do you ride it down there? Are you flying around Broadway that often? Sometimes. Sometimes I'll cut times. across, rewire the brain, go down a different street, and it's completely blocked off for like most of it. Or yeah, for a that's bunch of big yeah, chunk of Broadway is just like it's kinda like Dime Square to bring this shit full circle like a dime. Have you guys heard that uh show tune, The King in New York? It's, it was in the Newsies. No. Oh, it's such a banger. I don't think we can. 
play it due to copyright, but it always makes me think of Sass now. But it's it's actually it's like an extremely catchy song. Ba doom 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 doom. It sounds doom, like all the rest. Doom 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 doom. A Saturday night with the mayor's daughter. Ba dun. I'm the king of New York. That's pretty good. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Dun. I'm the king of New York. You know that that yeah, whole play is uh, propaganda by Al Shabaab to encourage us to unionize as Americans. Jack Mack said it's not. They. <laughs> <laughs> it, I think they're. I think they actually do go on strike in that movie. Yeah, right? it's literally all about unionization, um, which is like uh, it's foreign propaganda to weaken the U.S. working class or strengthen the working class and weaken the factories where everybody works, where all the newsies work. I believe that. Um, a young... We're a union a, just by saying so. Christian Bale, a young Christian Bale, plays the lead role in that. But I like it could be remixed into like a sick hip-hop song. I feel like there needs to be more like hip-hop show tunes where they just... I like, don't think they're... I, I, I disagree strongly. <laughs> I think, <laughs> think Lin-Manuel Miranda yeah. gave us our fill of that in one play. Well, no, I just... To happen no, again. Uh, yeah. I'm not like... I just mean like they should sample that in a hip-hop beat, but not have like Lin-Manuel Miranda on it. You got to have Jay-Z. I mean, they, they remixed oh, Hard yeah. Knock Life. That's yes, a show too. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. That's just see so, and then you just loop that. That is a nice bass line. Yeah. Dun, 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 yeah, that'd be like dun, 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 dun. a fucking Nas song or some shit like that. Yeah. All right. All right, should we wrap this up? Yeah, let's yep. get the fuck out of here. Um, oh, have a good weekend. We'll see you guys on Monday. Bye. Bye. See ya. I'm going on the Barstool Breakdown podcast this weekend. Please take a listen. We talk some yak stuff. Good times. Have a good weekend. Everybody stay safe. Love you guys. Bye.